Hey, hey, hey. Hey, everybody. Welcome in. Been a little while. Uh, haven't done a stream, I don't think, since the uh, last race of the season. So, um, finally time to get back out a little bit right here before Thanksgiving. And then a uh, nice long week off and uh, the winter season begins. So, uh, I need some water. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a look at some different cars, um, actually strictly based on um, uh, requests. So, no new arrivals at the moment. I mean, there are some that I just didn't do videos for, but uh, we will be taking requests, and we'll be showing any cars that uh, people are wanting to see. Uh, I'll have to dig them out little bits at a time, but we're here for a, not, I shouldn't say a full night, but we're going to be here for quite a while, taking a look at all those different cars and different things like that. So, should be a good, fun time. Um, we're also going to be talking about Black Friday, and we're going to actually have a couple of items on the website going live tonight. Um, and that'll be kind of fun because you guys that are here will get the first crack at it, um, and then the rest of them will go live on Friday. So, um, yes, they will have, um, like I said, tons of new stuff going on the site Friday, uh, mostly older stuff. Not a lot of new stuff, but when I say older stuff, I'm talking older race wins, like good race wins. We're talking like 2011 Kevin Harvick Coke 600 Elite. We're talking uh 20 let's see 29 no sorry 2016 carl edwards richmond leno we got a lot of good stuff uh on that one so definitely can't wait to show those off um but yes we will be um we'll be going through all those and taking a look at uh, the different black friday things out there uh along with of course we're gonna just get to hang out and do q a so to start everything off uh yes clyde you do have one on hold um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, let's see, where do we want to start? We can start a couple spots. Um, I think what we'll do is we will start with, yeah, I think that's what we're going to start. So we're going to start with the first of the Black Friday things. Uh, the first of those is going to be sprint cars. Lots of sprint cars still available. Um, every sprint car is going to be $10 off on, uh, Black Friday. Most of them are still fairly, really new. Uh, a couple from last year. Um, so those are actually going to go down, I think, 15. But again, those all go live Friday morning, about 12 a.m. So tomorrow night, midnight, basically, um, this, I'm going to be on my site just clicking away. And um, you're going to see the prices on all these kind of drop uh, for Friday. And then they'll go right back up going into Saturday. So, yes, there will be a Donnie Shots. Actually, a couple of Donnie Shots. There will be the Car Quest and his Armor All. Car Quest will be... Um, will be, I believe, $15 off. The regular one will be $10 off. So both of them will have a, a slight discount for Black Friday. Um, and then we're going to have, I mean, there's two different shoe hearts. We got, let's see, what else we got over there? Um, Jacob Allen, Brad Sweet, Casey Kane, um, James McFadden. That's right, he's on there. Uh, we got some Sammy Swindells, Brad, Brad Doty. Who else we got? Uh, Got to look. Uh, no, we did not have Danny Dietrich. Uh, we do have a Brent, Mar Brent Marks. We've got Aaron Reitzel. We've got um, Brian Brown, Logan Wagner. Uh, let's see. I think we got Justin Peck, uh, Bud Kading, Lance Deweese, and I believe we got some Christopher Bell. So, yes, plenty of them. We're going to have some good ones going. Uh, so I highly recommend stopping on in. Uh, that's, again, Friday at midnight. Uh, but like I said, based on requests, we're going to actually put a few live tonight. So we're going to have a few live. Those are specifically for the people here and uh, in the chat and the people who tuned in. Um, you guys will get first crack at some fresh ones, and you'll get to make requests for drivers, and I'll pick pick from the driver to which ones go live first. So kind of fun there. Um, okay, so we're going to start here. Um Black Friday deal in December. I don't think that's quite how it works. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Uh, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to take a request on a driver and a car. So first thing you want to do, sh somebody say a driver and a car that you want to see um, here. It may not be on the Black Friday list necessarily, but it's one of those show and tell kind of days. So that's what, we're, what it's for. Um might be able to get in a couple weeks. Hey, even better. I'll, I still got it on hold, though. Um, Ross Chastain, Advent Health, 124. I don't have that one yet. Actually, I don't think I'll have that one at all. I only have the race versions coming. Now, if somebody wants to um, if somebody wants to pre-order a uh, Advent Health car, I can do that for sure. So that's not an issue. It's just a matter of um, I don't stock anything. Uh, that's kind of a new thing. Just because of how busy things are, I, re I unfortunately don't have the time to handle stock. I'll have to pretty much be a pre-order only site. Uh, I'll occasionally try to get a couple of things in, but I just 
Uh, two full-time jobs ain't going to cut it. <laughs> so um, we're going to have to cut back on one. Uh, so, yes, I see we got Brad Sweet. Um, so that was the first number I saw in there. Uh, is Chase Elliott's Talladega win an option? Uh, the 2019 one, I can show it. It's not going to be one that's on the site for Black Friday, but I can show it. So the first one I did see, though, was Brad Sweet. So I'll, I'm going to put that one down on my notes. Uh, let's see. Where is my other? Where did I put? There it is. All right. Let me get my notes out, and we're going to make sure we have these all here. Where, there it is. Okay. Nope, that's not it. Where's my notebook? All right, so I'm going to pull my notebook up quick. Where is my notes? There it is, Samsung Notes. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so the first one is Brad Sweet, and we'll cross these off, obviously, as we go. Uh, the next one I saw was Elliot Talladega. What else we got here? 2020 Phoenix. All right. And there will be some Elliot 2020 Phoenix wins on the um, Black Friday deals. ARCs. I don't have any elites left, but I do have a couple ARCs that need to go. So those will be on there as well. Uh, Kurt Busch, Kentucky. And let's see. Oh, Yellowwood 500? Yeah, unfortunately, pre-orders, there's not going to be anything for pre-orders because you're not supposed to do pre-orders. There's kind of some rules with that. So just letting you know that ahead of time, there won't be any for pre-orders or anything that's like brand new. Um I don't know if any of the Gen 7s will actually, or yeah, the next gens. I don't think any next gens will be on the Black Friday specials because I don't think they can be. Um, they would have to be at least six or seven months old, and I think they're they're not there yet. So, like I said, unfortunately, that's not going to be an option. Just letting you know. Um, Ross Chastain, Vegas win. I can I know which one that is. Or Daytona, so I can do both of those actually because they actually have them sitting right next to each other. Okay. All right. So just so you know, if you've, if you've thrown a chat in right now, I will not be able to get it. I wrote down all the chats, so save them. Just save them for the moment, and then I will come back and we'll do another round of requests later. So we'll do those here. Uh, we'll start, though, first. I'll go grab the Brad Sweet. Um, Brad Sweet and Elliot. Or no, Elliot Talladega. That was for a different one. So El Brad Sweet and Elliot Phoenix. Alrighty. So first things first, I'm actually going to show off one extra piece because I got one left and this is going to be one of those specialty things. This goes on tonight. I will expl I will actually count down exactly when this goes because I don't want anyone to miss it. But this is the mini helmet for the championship race. We're actually going to pull it out. We'll pull it out of the box and take a look at it. That way you guys can get a good look at it. I have uh, one of these upstairs in uh, my display, but I got one left for somebody if they are looking to get one of these. All right. Perfect. Okay, I'll leave it in the bag because I, I like to keep things in the bag as long as they're in them. So here we go. There is the helmet. That's the championship helmet for Chase Elliott. Uh, you can see, obviously, it's still in the bag. I'm not going to get it out because this one's brand new. You can see it's got seven time. It's all the Jimmy Johnson marks. This is the helmet he won with at Phoenix that he was wearing. Uh, and this will be on the Black Friday special. It's actually still on the site at the moment, but it'll go on the Black Friday special. Normally, these helmets are $59.99 uh, new, so basically $60. Bucks. This one's actually discounted pretty nicely. It's down to $42.00. 40, 42. Yeah, it's 42, 41.99. I see. I I don't do the 99s very often, so they they confuse me. I'm a simple person. But yes, for 42. So it does, it gets a pretty good discount um, for that one, and um, it'll be dropping later tonight. And I, like I said, we'll count down and do that one live on stream. So that's the helmet. Now I'll pull the Brad Sweet out. Now Brad Sweet, this is his 118th scale. I have three of these left. 
Uh, like I said, sprint cars go live Friday, so this one won't go tonight. This will be Friday, so make sure if you're wanting to pick up a Brad Sweet 118th. Um, this does have the removable engine cover, so you do have the engine underneath here. I'll try and show that. For those of you who haven't seen a lot of sprint cars, you can see we do have that there. And then um, also, we do have 164s. I should say A164. We have a single 164 left in that small scale. So we have one of those left and a couple of 118s. So that'll, that's all I got left on the sweet end of it. They did not make his car from this year. So uh, maybe next year they'll be making them again. But at the moment, this is the most recent of the Brad Sweet cars. Uh, so the next one we're going to show off, this is actually a very interesting piece to me. And I'll explain why once I get it out of the box. Um, all right, we'll slide Brad Sweet just off to the side for a moment. This is the Elliott Phoenix win. Now this one is actually an elite. This is my custom elite and I'll explain what exactly I've done to it to make it custom. Um, I actually have to take it off the base. I wasn't originally going to and then I realized I can't show you all the goodness of this car without getting it off the base. All right, let's see here. Yeah, four times straight champion Brad Sweet. Um, let's get that off, there we go. So yes, that one, like I said, those are, um, Am I selling the custom? No, not this one. I'm still not done with it. I got more to do with it. I still want to do with it. There we go. I'm changing it. Oh, I, okay. Here we go. There we go. So there's the new one. Or the not the new one. Sorry. This is my custom work. Uh, what I did with this one is I, um, I basically took it and you can see here it's got a metal plate. You can see all the suspension. You got the transmission lines here. I took a Gen 6 Elite from like a 2016, put it on 2020. I lowered it so you can see this rear suspension. It drops nice and low. You know, drops right down to where you want it. Uh, front end also has a little drop, not quite as much. Um, but we also swapped all the wheels and tires. So it does have the Phoenix wheels and tires and everything like that. It just has that original chassis piece. What does that mean? Well, you tell me. That's a trunk with roof flaps and tethers. So I got tethers and roof flaps in the trunk. We'll go under the hood quick. Uh, oh, I just lost my splitter. So as you can tell, I haven't fixed or fully put it all back together like for good because my splitter's not quite done yet. So still working on that. But here you can see on the under the hood, a couple of tethers. Uh, looks like the brace fell off. Uh, you can see the brace down here. It's kind of funny uh, how these work because they're, they're magnets. Uh, so there you can see I actually just pulled the brace off. There we go. So there you can see how that pops open. Uh, but the engine detail is actually better. You got valve, uh, not valve cars, sorry. You got um, plug wires in there. Um, and then, like I said, braces and tethers. Let me see if I, those reattach. Because what I did is the, the braces and tethers attach through magnets. And so that way I can take them apart if I need to. Yeah, no, they did not reattach. So I got to get a little tweezers in there and reattach it if I really want to. But yes, the tethers are there. Um, like I said, the tethers you can see in there. But then I have the brackets in there as well. And actually, you can see here, watch this. I'll pull this tether and it pops right out. Pull the tether, pops right out. And like I said, they're attached through magnets. So all I have to do is separate that magnet and stick it under the hood where the other magnet is, and they just stay where they're at. So because they're magnet powered, I can pull this apart and work on it and do some stuff to it, put it back together, stick the four magnets back together, and I'm good to go. So yeah, this is my little custom work. I'm pretty proud of it. I'm not done yet. I want to do some more work to the cab detail and stuff like that. But we will have a chance to do some of that later. We need an Alex Bowman sprint car because the paint schemes are sweet. Um, they have his his Valvoline car that was driven by CJ Leary. I have one of those. I have one 118th CJ Leary car and then um, no 164s. Those ran out already. So, uh, But yeah, so that was my custom work. Like I said, this one's not going to be on there, but I believe I have a... Um, I believe I have a... What am I trying to say here? Uh, an ARC of the Phoenix car available. So if you're looking for the Phoenix win, the ARC will be on Sunday special, or not Sunday special, sorry, Black Friday special. Um, just, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of them on that on that special. Elliot Martinsville, Elliot Robel, you know, Elliot Phoenix, you know, a lot of his 2020 stuff is going to be on there. Going to be some Larson's from early 2021 on there. Um, so going to be a lot of, lot of different options on the uh, Black Friday special. So definitely, if you're looking to pick up some of those Hendrick Race wins from the last couple of years, there's going to be some out there for you. I'll put that splitter back later because, like I said, I'm not done working on it yet. So, all right. So we'll slide this one back up onto the shelf. Uh, let's see here. Ashok says, uh, was there an issue with the payment on the Byron? Uh, no, there wasn't. I honestly forgot that I was supposed to do those normally because normally I have uh, certain uh, people that I, I hold and then they when they come in, I, I send them a combine in case they want to add like a 164th or something to it. Um, and I forgot yours 
you wanted to do one per week. So, um, no, there shouldn't be any issue with it. I may just have to rerun it would be the only thing. But other than that, it should be just fine. So no big deal um, on that. It's just a bit, it basically was just an issue of me mixing up uh, what I was supposed to do. That's all it is. So um, let's see here. So um, can I grab the CJ Sprint car? I definitely can. All right. So let me scroll back up here a little bit. Uh, can I pay you with my Elliott Phoenix win? Um Oh, pay you to do the Phoenix win. Um, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Why not? I've done a couple. Um, I'd love to do a video about it because, like I said, the la this one has been all experimental. So I would love to give it a second shot. If someone wants to do that, you just got to send the chassis you want, the car you want, and then um, ship it. So, and I will, I'll deal with the shipping with you. But um, basically, that's the only thing. Is basically, I'll do it and I'll donate kind of my time to do the video and stuff. Um, but this just, uh, you got to. Take care of getting all the parts to me and the parts back to yourself. That's the only thing that uh, that you got to handle. But yeah, no, that's definitely an option. You just got to message me on Instagram, Facebook, or through the email. And uh, if, if when you're ready to do it, just let me know and we'll we'll get it worked out. Um, okay. And CJ Sprint Car, we're gonna grab that. Uh, am I gonna take the car that I'm holding off the site? Yes, that one will go off the site. Actually, I can do that off my phone right now here, real quick. If it if uh, if it makes you nervous, it's been sitting there for a while. But um, I know if. Uh, this would be the day that somebody ends up finding it. So let's see here. As I say that, should I say exactly what car it is just in case somebody wants to try and snag it from Clyde? I'll, I'll say it here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to pull it off the site real quick. <laughs> All right. Where is it? Where's my cancel button? There it is. All right. And he is holding. There it is. And it is no longer available. There we go. All right, Clyde, it is on hold for you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab a CJ Leary car quick. All right, so for you Bowman fans out here, this car is owned by Alex Bowman. Uh, it's now driven by Alex Bowman from time to time. So he runs this um, now with the Ally paint scheme, not with the Valvoline car, but this is the car he owns. Uh, you'll see on the front where it says ABR, that's Alex Bowman Racing. And this is definitely his, um, I would say not his best paint scheme. I think the Ally car for 55 looks better in my personal opinion, but definitely a very solid car. Like I said, there is one of these left. I only have one available, um, but the good news is come Friday morning, the discount's available. And just remember guys, when I say the discount, that discount is not even counting the, the race craze discount. You guys get that extra discount no matter what. So when this thing gets discounted from, I believe it's 120, I think it goes from 120 to 105, and then you go ahead and you enter in that discount code, it goes down to like 95. But then the shipping gets added in and it goes back up. So it doesn't go quite as low, but yes, these cars definitely, um, by the time you add it in the discount and the race craze code, it'll be somewhere close to 25 bucks off. But then you add the shipping in and it's essentially like five bucks off with free shipping because unfortunately shipping is ridiculous again. Um, but come Friday morning, they'll be available. So. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this one back onto the shelf along with the Brad Sweet. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this one back up on the shelf. And let's take a look at our next request. What did I have on my list here? I had something in my notes. I forgot to grab it yet. So the next one on the notes was the Kurt Busch and then some Ross Chastain. Uh, Daniel Suarez, no. There's no Suarez's because I mostly work in race versions. Um, the only thing will be his first win when it comes out, but it's not out yet, unfortunately. So for Daniel Suarez, going to have to wait just a little bit longer to get that one. I was afraid someone's going to take 2014 Homestead. I will have to get that one. It is buried. And when I say buried, it's I can see it. It's just the bottom row. So I'll have to get everything out from on top of it. But I will put that on the list. So 2014 Homestead. And I know exactly which one that is. There we go. All right. So we got the 2014 Homestead on there. Um, let's see. Just ordered Brad's 2019 Atlanta Win Elite from Circle B. Wow, good, good grab. 2019 Elite 
Yeah, I do have one of those. I actually have it with the pin, but very good car. It looks really good. 2014 Homestead Cup. Uh, yes, have that as well. Any Hamlins? Oh, we got all the Hamlins. We can look at all the Hamlins. They're not all going to be on the site. So all his Daytona 500 cars are uh, something that can be there, but not uh, won't be on the site. Uh, will Logano's be on the Black Friday? I believe the, the 2019... Pennzoil one might be. I gotta double check. I think that's. I think that one gets discounted. So yes, I think that one will be on there. Um, and Brad's 2019 Martinsville will also be on there. Pre Hendrick Larson wins. Oh, we got plenty of them to show off. I don't think any of them are getting listed though. So the only Larsons that'll be on the site for this Black Friday are going to be the the home or the uh, Hendrick ones. Uh, putting the 2014 Homestead on there. Yeah. Good luck with that, Clyde. Good luck with that. Good luck. All right, let's see here. So um, I was going to grab Ross Chastain. Chastain. All right, got both the Chastains, um, both 2018 and 2019. Yeah, 2018 and 2019. The 2019 is Colleague. 2018 was the DC Solar Car. All right, so here we go. There is the DC Solar Car for Ross Chastain. This was the Vegas win. It actually looks exactly like the Kyle Larson Vegas win from earlier in the season in the exact same paint scheme. A couple of small details, but overall looks pretty darn similar, and it is autographed. So his first career Xfinity win uh, autographed edition with the uh, defunct DC Solar on it. Uh, that's kind of funny there, so that one will be there. Uh, I'm not sure what that 2019 Martinsville one is at. I, I think it's on the site already, I, but I got to double check because I there's too many to remember. Uh, all right, and that's so that's our... Um, um, Las Vegas. Let's go ahead and move on to Daytona. This one is also an autographed edition. So you can see we got the signature there, the number 16, that error on the rear window that has always bugged me. And then you can see we got um, all the confetti there. And um, I don't know, this car was always a little something to me. I like the 16 car, but I think AJ had better paint schemes in it. I thought AJ's paint schemes always looked a little bit better, but overall, pretty cool car nonetheless. I mean, you can see it's got pretty good dirt on it and it's a daytona win so you know those things all gotta count for something but um yeah the matte scheme on this one just i don't know doesn't click with me as much but still a really good one so yeah both of those will be on there uh what's the name of the store i believe it's r a well i don't believe i know it's r a s diecast and um it might be on the site i don't know if it's visible so i'll have to double check on that visibility on um on that martinsville win because i know i listed it i went and did i have all of the truex hamlin harvick's blaney's um blaney's it'll be available that is so not his first win but a lot of blaney's other cars will be on there um let's see what else is on there lajoy johnson hemrick kyle bush i have all of those listed so a couple guys that i didn't get to before black friday just as i was slowly chipping through it i wasn't able to get through all of dale juniors tony stewart's or um Who's the other one? And then most of the truck series guys. So I didn't get to many of them guys yet. So, uh, but yeah, a lot of stuff's going to be on there uh, come Friday night. Oh, finally here. Well, welcome in. Glad you could make it. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and we're going to put those Chastain cars back. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Always getting confused and getting distracted. All right, so the Chastains are ready to go back to the shelf. All righty. 2016 Sonoma win. Uh, it is not going to be on the site for purchase, but I can show it off because that's one of those that I wanted to keep for Tony Stewart. It's the only car for Tony Stewart that I have when he has the um, 14 car. I only kept that one. I didn't have... I have the All-Star. That one's going on the website. Um, and his champion car as well. The one with the logo on the roof will also be going to the website. But this one, his Sonoma win, I couldn't get rid of that one. I just, I like that car too much. I really enjoy that race. It was very um, memorable. So, yeah, the Sonoma one, unfortunately for you guys, fortunately for me, won't be going nowhere. Finally made it. Well, I'm glad you could tune on in. It's a nice long one tonight, so... All righty, I'm going to go ahead and I'm unscrewing the, the Tony Stewart right now. 
It's on there and it's at 130 currently. Okay, so I believe anything that was 100 to 150 was getting a $15 discount. So it'll go down to 115. Uh, and it does have the pin. I don't know if it's noted, but it does have the official event pin from Martinsville. All right, there we go. So there's our Sonoma win for Tony Stewart, for those of you that wanted to take a look at it. Um, always love this car because of the big giant donut and dent on the left side from where he he and Hamlin got together pretty hard uh, in the final corner. You do also have some marks over on this side uh, that look pretty good. A little bit of a wall scrape. Just, you know, it's a, it's a road course car. You know, they just beat him up. And Sonoma's had some good races. I mean, 2016 was pretty memorable. 2015, 2017 was a little dry. Um, I'd say 2017, 2018 were a little dry. 2019, actually, they might have had a lot of dry ones now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, Sonoma's not as good. I think 2016 might have been the highlight. I, I don't think many of our other races have had that, all that great of stuff. So that one, um, yeah, I'm not sure if that this might be the last great Sonoma race. But yes, nonetheless, definitely uh, a car I was really glad I was able to find because I had it at one time in the ARC and then I ended up selling it to try and get an Elite and the Elite backed out or the, the seller I was going to get it from backed out and I was stuck with that one for a while. But then I was able to find it again. So yes, definitely a, a, a solid one. I really like that car. Well, like I said, for you Tony Stewart fans, there are going to be a couple available. The ones are going to be his All-Star Win Elite from 2009. His 2004, I want to say it's 2003 maybe, 2003 um, Pocono Win in Elite. And then um, his Champion Car. So the, when I say Champion Car, I am referring to the car that has the logo for the championship on it. Uh, on the top. So actually, for those of you who don't know, if you are looking for any of the Champion logo cars, I will have all of those going somewhere because I decided to change the direction of the collection I was wanting to have. So I no longer am doing the um, the logo on the roof cars um, that I've had for about 10 years I've been doing those, and now I'm going to change to a little different kind of style or a different, different kind of car that I want to try and go for for the Champions. Will I have any old Jimmy Johnson wins? Yes, definitely plenty of old Jimmy Johnson wins. Um, do I have any Dale Juniors? There will be... Will there be any Dale Juniors? I don't think that... I didn't get to the Dale Juniors yet. I was trying to get everything logged before before, uh, or before Thanksgiving, and I didn't get to Dale Jr. So I have Juniors. They're just not going to make it for Black Friday. Um, championship raced versions. Yes, I will have the raced versions, but like the, ch the ones with the logo on the roof that aren't raced versions, they're just the clean scheme, those are the ones that are going. So uh, there is going to be Kyle Busch 2019 and Kyle Busch 2015. Those with the logo on the roof will be um, finding new homes, along with, you know, 2018 Logano, 2016 Johnson, 2015, um, oh, 2015 was Bush, uh, 2014 Harvick, 2013 Johnson, 2012, and then 2011. So um, are there any Kyle Larson 2021 playoff diecast that you can hold? Uh, I can hold um, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, it depends on how many. If you want to hold a bunch, I may have to have you do a down payment to make sure you come back to get them. Um, so that's the only thing. So, yeah, th that might be on it. Uh, any chase wins going up on the site? None would be going to the site that aren't already there. Um, like I said, that, that Chase Elliott collection is safe. Don't you worry. That's not going anywhere, boys. Boys and girls, don't don't you worry that those aren't going anywhere. Um, so those that those are good. We'll still have the 2020s and 2021s that are already listed, um, but everything else will, will be staying put. Um, all right, let's see here. May I see some options? Well, let me see here. Um, playoff diecast. Okay, options would be like I have Kansas, I have Texas, Charlotte, Bristol, Phoenix. I got all. I have those all as options, all in Elite. I also have, I think, all of them in ARC. So there's ARC and Elite for both of those available. Um, basically, I would just say if you're gonna get more than two, I would probably say at least put you know 30, 40 bucks down just to make sure you come back and get them. Because I I did have somebody I held like 20 cars for, and then they packed out, and I got stuck with 20 cars that I have to now sell a discount for Black Friday. So you can see why I might be a little more hesitant depending on how many. Uh, all right, let's see here. So can you see the options? Oh, yes, I can show you a quick couple of other options. Um, let's see here. I got to get over to it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There's the Bristol, which in my personal opinion, this is the best of the race versions. That is Kansas. And if I, if I have the picky, 
I would say you are going to want to do the Kansas or the if you want the most raced version without confetti, definitely go with Bristol. If you like confetti and you like raced version, go with Phoenix. If you want no confetti and you or minimal confetti, that one's probably going to be Kansas. And if you're really not picky and you want something unique, the Roval has a bright pink window net. So plenty of options for kind of whatever taste you're looking for. Um, Texas is frankly the only one that's just irrelevant, honestly. <laughs> the, the rest of them are all good. Texas is just irrelevant somehow. Can't explain why. Could I entertain or could I enter? Could, I can't read it right. Can I entertain with the 2016 Hamlin 500? I absolutely can. So the 2016 500, I'm going to make her or I'm going to uh, get that one going. 2009 or 2014 card. Now I got to go see who you were asking for. Dale Jr. No, no. Was it Dale Jr. or Jimmy Johnson? Let me look. I think Dale Jr. I don't think Dale Jr. had any in 2009. Did he? I don't think Jr. has any 2009 wins. He, um, there's his 2014 Poconos, but his uh, Daytona 500 win ain't going nowhere. So it's just those. Uh, hop on a plane to your house and take all your Elliott wins, except for the Kansas win, because, well, that's a good thing, because if you took the Kansas win, I'd have to kill you for it. <laughs> that's just not worth it. Uh, gotta go to work. Uh, have a nice night, and happy Thanksgiving. Hey, definitely. Uh, have a good one, NASCAR bros. Uh, and hopefully by Tuesday, or not Tuesday, sorry, tomorrow night at midnight, stop on by a website if you were interested in any of them. Check them out. They should all be uh, discounted and live at midnight tomorrow night. So um, I can get them all set before I leave for the weekend, and if they're not sold by the end of the weekend, then I put the price back to normal so the sale goes all the way to monday or sunday night sorry it all goes to sunday night but you'll have from basically thursday at midnight to sunday to to get all the discount ones um chose phoenix is it on ebay or something um the phoenix no no it's, it's on my website um chase elliott fan it's on rasdiecast.com i would have that's where i have uh the that at like i said that one they go live um Midnight, tomorrow night. Uh, Ryan Newman, 2017 Phoenix win. Yes, that one will actually be on there. Uh, would you like, if you'd like to see it, I can go grab that too. Do I have the Kyle Busch 2008 Daytona? No, that one I never did end up with. Elliot, liquid color Watkins Glen. That's not going anywhere. It actually has a broken rear window, so it wouldn't be worth much, and therefore it looks too good for me to let go. Um, oh, just asking for drivers in general. There's a Jimmy Johnson. Uh... There's a, a couple of Johnsons from 2009. A Tony Stewart All-Star win. There's not many. I know there's there's not a ton. A RAS, uh, Chase Elliott fan. It's RAS as in like initials RA and then apostrophe S because my it's my initials, RA. So RAS diecast. Uh, and then Earnhardt Jr.'s 2014 Pocono. Yeah, like I said, I just haven't had a chance to list it yet. So I do have that car, but I haven't had a chance to get it listed on the site yet. So I'll have to get to it uh, next time I get a chance. All right. Smokes 2011 Homestead. Uh, I do not have that one, so I don't have his Homestead. All right. Now I'm supposed to look here. Newman 2017 Phoenix. Okay, I'll do that one. And I was trying to make sure I got them all. All right, so yeah, Phoenix and... I do not have any Harvicks from 2018, actually, as weird as that sounds. I, I No, I'm out. Yeah, no no Harvicks from 2018. Those, actually, I don't have any of. All right, so I will um, I will get the 2016 Daytona win. And I will get the, let's see what I'm trying to see here. Bush, Homestead with all the confetti. Okay, so 2016 Hamlin Daytona. I'll grab that so we can take a look at it. Also going to take a look at 2015 Homestead Kyle Bush. Neither of those are for sale, but I can always show them off because it's always fun to show off cars. And then, um, actually, somebody was just asking about a car from the 25th or 2022 Homestead, or, uh, sorry, Fontana, and actually it's right here. I haven't done my review yet. It was actually supposed to be reviewed, and I actually have the pin here too, the 25th Anniversary Auto Club. So that is the car um, for Fontana this year from Kyle Larson. So like I said, car actually came in yesterday, got all the photos taken. So it's on the website, but I haven't had a chance to actually make my review yet. So that one's coming out this weekend uh, when I'm gone. All right. So we'll do the Homesteads, Chicago for Bowman IC, and Hamlin 
Daytona 500. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab a couple of them, and then um, we'll get a look at, uh, at all those. Alrighty, now I need to get Newman's as well, so before I go too far. Uh, who we got here next? Brian Newman. There we go. Okay, perfect. Alright, I think I got all of them. And we're going to start with the Ryan Newman one. Logano's 2018 Martinsville. Uh, yes, that one is... Is that one on the site? I don't, I don't know if that one's on the site. That one may not be. Sometimes those playoff cars are the tougher ones to put on the site. Because I can't find them anymore. Um, anyway, so that's our, our uh, Fontana car. Wanted to show that off real quick because somebody was asking about it. And I actually had it handy because I haven't gotten to the review yet. All right, so the first one we're going to take a look at is Newman's 2017 Phoenix. And the 2018... Now, Revel and Racing, are you referring to the one with the logo on the roof or the Homestead car? Because I have both. I can show you both. The only one that's going to be on the sale list is the 2018 with the logo on the roof. The, the Homestead will be... Okay, Homestead. So I can show you the Homestead, but I won't have any available on the site, unfortunately. Some of those I just... I'd have to get a second one before I'm willing to make it parked. Because I'm downsizing the collection, but I'm not downsizing quite that far. I have a small table of them that I'm, I'm holding on to, which is mainly Homesteads, um, Coke 600 cars, Daytona 500 cars, you know, Elliott Kane kind of thing, and then that's kind of the extent of it. So there's a lot of them. Uh, I guess Brickyard 400s. There's a lot of those that are sticking around, but there we go. So there's Ryan Newman's 2017... Uh, this is the Granger win from Phoenix. Uh, there are some trucks on there. They're just not listed yet. Like I said, I do have trucks. Uh, John Hunter Nemechek. I have um, Ryan Priest, Ross Chastain. So there's a few on there. I just haven't gotten around to getting all of them. There's a couple of like Sam, Sam Mayers and some other guys like that that I haven't quite got to yet. And so when I get to them, I'll be able to uh, do those reviews or... Um, Get them on the site. I already have the review done. Um, 2007 All-Star win. Yes, actually, Kevin Harvick's All-Star win will be on the Black Friday special. So you can check that one out as soon as it gets on there. Goes live tomorrow night. So anyway, here is that Granger car. Like I said, good confetti. And I will say something that I think kind of gets missed here is um, 2019 Texas. I actually do have that Texas still. Kind of want to pop it open. There you can see it. So look at that cloth. There's a little cloth on the edge of the of the um roof flap right there you can kind of see it um but that cloth is actually something they only did for 2017 it was a really cool new addition to the detail on these cars and then we immediately lost all the detail which was really unfortunate but 2017 race wins have really really good quality so definitely recommend getting one of these 2017s whether it's your you know if you're a junior fan or a newman fan just any 2017 elite just the detail on them for gen 6 cars second to none you will not find better detail it's just, man, they were good. Good detail on these cars. Um, let's see here. Dale Jr. 2014 500. Um, I have it. Like I said, it, it just it won't be on the site. Uh, now, if you want me to, to get it out and take a look at it, I can put it on my list for later. Um, yeah, there's Texas shaped confetti on that Harvick. It just, there's so much of it, you actually can't tell. Uh, let's see, ask how much will it be? How much will what be? I gotta go look. Which one are you talking about? Oh, the Newman one. Um, I think it's already listed, but I gotta double check. Like I said, I gotta double check a lot of these because some of them are set as invisible, so they list um, as soon as Friday turns around. And so I've I've listed well over 250 cars, so there's a good chance if I say a price, it might be wrong. Because <laughs> like I said, it's been hard to keep track of exactly which what they're all at. Um, okay. So that's the end of the Phoenix one. Now we're going to take a look at uh, some Kyle Busch Homestead cars. 
There we go. All right, that is the end of the Newman one. Uh, Gregson won't have any on sale because he didn't win until recently. All of his wins are pretty new. So on an, I've got to think, there's a couple of um, older Gregsons that'll probably be available, like 2021s, like his standard paint scheme, standard Plan B, standard Lionel racing car. But none of the raced versions are going to be on sale because I don't have any extras for the Bristol or Daytona. And the other three are too new. And basically, I'll explain the rules in a very basic term. The rules for being able to do resale on Diecast are you have to leave your price at a certain amount for like six months or so. So in the first six months, they have to stay at that price. So if you may notice, everyone's price is pretty much the same for about six months. But once six months goes, all of a sudden you'll see them drop and you'll see people selling them for whatever they can get out of them or, or auctioning and, and stuff like that. And that's just the rules. So I'm just trying to explain that to you so you understand like, yes, I would love to give you guys discounts on the um, the Noah cars, you know, to get some of those, um, you know, get get people that are Noah fans some some cool good deals on Black Friday with some pretty cool cars. But um, because of those rules, you got to follow those. And so I'd have to wait. I believe it's another three or four months. Maybe it's only two months before I'd be able to discount any of them. So those I'm just explaining that so so you guys kind of understand what what I'm having to do. You know. Uh, did I get the list of what version to get 2022 wins? Uh, ooh, yes, I believe so. I gotta double check though. What did I just drop? Oh, that's just a piece of plastic. Thank goodness. Something came out of or fell out of the Denny Hamlin car here. So there's the pin. And if you notice that pin, you're probably gonna know what's next when I say Denny Hamlin. Lionel did not make the 2010 Kurt Busch Coke 600. They did make the All Star car but not the Coke 600, unfortunately. So, kind of a missed opportunity there, that's for sure. Alrighty. Hmm, dusty little thing. Here we go. Dream. Dream. This is the autographed Denny Hamlin uh, 2012 Dodge raced version. I actually don't have any 2012 Dodges, period. Oh, snap. Did I drop that? I did. Well, one of the antennas just fell down. I'll have to go find it off the floor. Oh, well. This is the ultimate grail. But, yes, this is the 2016 Daytona 500 car with the pin. Uh, I I love my Daytona 500 cars. So, like I said, guys, those not going nowhere. Uh, how come no one has brought uh, has bought Kane sheet metal on eBay? Um, Probably just because sheet metal is not super popular. Um, I personally only like the numbers. I mean, the other pieces are kind of cool, but I just don't know what to do with it, you know? So I prefer getting the numbers and because I got, I did get some numbers. I got a big number five door for Kane and then a couple of sprint car numbers. And so I really don't need any more sheet metal. So I'm actually kind of getting rid of some just cause uh, you can only hang so much sheet metal. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, that's, um, that's a pretty cool one. It's Daytona 500 sheet metal. And, um, yeah, I think I'll discount it next time by just to get it going. Uh, any 2022s? None that'll be... Oh. What happened to my camera here, guys? What? Is it, is it still on? Can anyone see? Do I have chats? Oh, no. I think I just lost my stream. No. What? What the heck happened? Oh my gosh. What, why is it doing filters? Let me see here if I can get out of this. I'm trying to see if I can get back to chat. Oh, here we go, let's go back here. Top, no, live chat. There we go, okay, thank goodness. I thought I, whew, I thought I just lost the stream. I was like, no, you gotta be kidding me. So apparently my phone just bounced and it bounced and just changed all the settings like i was in filters and everything so off to the side you go phone that is untrustworthy um all right so we'll leave that where it's at we're good to go there um and then yes yeah, so 2016 cans don't have that one all right so we're good Whew, i'm so glad i didn't lose a stream where was i at before that i completely lost it saw the face hey it's close to 5k right that was supposed to happen anyway my biggest thing is like i'll, I'll be completely 
transparent. Look at this. This is my current mess. Shelving, boxes, lots of boxes. That all in the background is on Black Friday. My car's here. Uh, there's a wood shop back there. Christmas decorations, boxes over the floor. So you can kind of understand why I don't want to do a lot of face cam stuff until I clean my stuff up. <laughs> um, it's R-A-S, like three letters. R-A-S and then the word diecast. Let me, actually here, let me, let me reply this in here quick. Can I do that? Can I reply to a chat? Crap, I don't know my phone. I'm going to try and reply to your chat quick. Reply, reply, reply. All right, somebody link the website in the chat for Chase Elliott fan. He's having trouble. So link the website for me. I, I'm trusting you guys to do it. Uh, does Thanksgiving not exist? Uh, well, Thanksgiving's tomorrow, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing nothing. Vikings play, so I'm excited for that. Going to get to have a good Thanksgiving dinner and all. Um, but tomorrow at midnight, I turn all the things on to live. There we go. Thank you. Now you guys are getting it. Um, so, yes, I, I'm not doing it like uh, like a storefront where I'm making people work. For me, I just I normally stay up till midnight anyway. So right before I go to bed, I'm going to turn all the Black Friday listings on to live. And then I'm leaving for the weekend. And so everything that sells, when I come back on Monday, um, I'll get them all processed and then shipped out. So just so you guys know, it's not like I'm trying to, uh, you know, spoil the weekend and do that stuff where some of these places were opening, black, you know, midnight you know, storefronts, I don't have anyone to work for me and I'm already going to be staying up. So it's the only reason I say midnight tomorrow is just because it's easier for me to just stay up late and then go and tap, 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 and make all those things live. So like I said, that's just, um, yeah, I, I'm just trying to make sure you guys get, I am definitely not a big fan of the idea of making people work on Thanksgiving. 100%. Definitely want to make sure of that. Um, Yes, the 164th Kansas wins are on the way. Um, I believe mine, unfortunately, are going to be delayed a little bit because of Black Friday. My supplier is going to have to go through Black Friday, and then, um, you know, there's going to be some cleanup. and Not cleanup, but, you know, there's just time that is taken to, to with all the busyness around Black Friday. So, all right, so Hamlin's going back in his box. Come on. Hmm. Getting closer. There we go. Trying to get these Denny, this Denny Halen car put back together. Oh, Ashok, you are very desperate for that one. <laughs> I will definitely put that one on there. Gotta go feed some horses and work tomorrow. Um, whoo, that's gonna take some time. All right, come on now. I'm trying to get this. I don't know if this one's gonna get put back. It's close enough. We'll get this uh, Denny Hamlin put back, and then, as requested, we'll do the the. Um, I, I said it wrong again. We're doing the Alex Bowman Chicago win. There's the box, and I can get that one put back as well. Because this one goes back. My Daytona 500 cars are a very, very cool set. I'm very happy I have that. All right, so we'll put those off to the side. And now, due to A-Shock, he gets to jump the line. He did the super chat, so he jumps the line and uh, gets to see this one. And yes, unfortunately, this one won't be on the site yet. I'm trying to get this one autographed um, someday. Because I, um, I really, I was originally supposed to be at this race, but the tickets went up the wall. So here you can see that's uh, Bowman's Chicago win in Elite. And the coolest part, in my opinion, that I have for that right here is the pin. Um, I have all of Bowman's wins with pins uh, except for his Pocono because they didn't make them. So that one, sadly, uh, don't have yet. But definitely um, definitely a, a pretty sweet race win, especially considering it was his first win. And I love the Exalted car, so too many good examples. So... Um, don't worry, there'll, there'll be more of these out there. You just have to make sure you believe. Um, so yeah, I, the problem was too, when they made this autographed edition, they didn't have confetti on the windshield. Like they sent clean windshields and had them sign them. And so it looked really weird to have a perfectly clean windshield with a signature on it. And I said, nah, I'll just have them sign it, you know, personally, and then it'll be better, which I think looks way better. Uh, they did. They made the Pocono car. They didn't make a pin for Pocono because of COVID. So because of COVID, there was no Pocono pin. 
And yes, definitely, the Fontana and Martinsville are very good looking cars. 100%. So yes, that is the Bowman Chicago. Uh, that's actually, it looks like becoming quite a grail. I, I mean, that's a tough car to find and it's, I can see why. I love the confetti on it and it looks pretty darn good. All right. So the next one on the list, I believe there was somebody chatting for some Kyle Bushes. You still in here? Kyle Bush Homesteads. I'm going to make sure uh, I don't pull it out too late. And if, if someone's not there, just take a look at what they wanted to see. Like I said, these the Homesteads are also kind of like the Daytona cars. Um, I have those in um, in, a, in their own collection. Uh, Will You Be Atlanta Win is not out yet. Uh, 2015 and 19. Okay, I knew somebody was asking. Um, here we go. Briscoe Phoenix. Um... No, I shipped it to you. <laughs> I don't have a Briscoe Phoenix because I shipped it to you yesterday. So the video review came out today, but I actually filmed it uh, last night. Oh, where'd it go? I just dropped the pin. There we go. I actually have a really cool thing with that. So yeah, I don't have that one to show you, unfortunately, because I already shipped it. So yeah, that one's kind of funny. Don't you worry, it looks good. And I am gonna, um, I didn't swap your tires. So you're gonna have the normal tires and everything, um, but eventually we, I can do a, a swap there. So there's the pin. This is the 2019 Ford EcoBoost 400 pin uh, that goes with that Kyle Busch car. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the 2015 car. Cause the 2015, in my opinion, probably one of the cooler cars just paint scheme wise. I think the green was just a neat, concept but i also have the ford eco boost pin from that one so i love collecting the pins i don't know why it's just there's something about the logos of the race and seeing them evolve throughout the years that i think is really cool oh wait how's it getting delivered saturday i didn't i forgot mail ran on saturday parker that's one of the most absurd statements I've ever heard. Cody Ware barely has a top five in his career, and you're thinking he's going to win? Now, if you said Noah Gregson, I would actually be more inclined to believe you because I think that Petty GMS group is going to work together, and they could be a legit threat. All right, here we go. So there is the 2015 car. I think the 2015, maybe it's because I just love the Stars confetti, but... I love the 2015 car. Bright yellow banners, uh, the stars kind of all over the hood and, and the windshield and stuff. I just think it looks really good. Um, maybe it's the color of the car, just a mix of things. I'm, I love it. Haven't done a review of Kyle's two um, 2015 Homestead win yet. I know. That's the weirdest thing is that I've had this car forever and I've never reviewed it. And the thing that's weird is I did a video with this car before. I took out the chassis and put a piece of paper behind the windshield of an ARC I used to have. He signed it at Chicago, but it was in black marker, so you couldn't see anything. But once I put the white piece of paper under it, you could. And eventually I ended up selling it when I got an Elite, and ah, I've never done my review yet. I don't know. Maybe we'll keep it that way. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to go through and get it all organized. Uh, you know it's getting bad when Lionel's Black Friday sale is worse than their Labor Day? Uh, yeah, I can, I can see that. They don't have the stock they probably used to have, honestly. Uh, got both in 164th. Um, yeah, the 124s. The I'm telling you, man, these 124s for the 2015 used to be dirt cheap. I got my I got one of these in ARC for 30 bucks when I first like got back into diecast like hardcore in 2017. This car was literally in 2017 about 30 dollars on eBay, and I picked one up and was like, yeah, that's a pretty cool car. I think I'll keep that one. I got this one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be completely transparent. I bought this car along with Jeff Gordon's 2015 Martinsville car. Both of them cost around $30 to $35 at, in 2017. And then the market went nuts. And obviously this is like a $500 car now. And then um, the... What's the other one? The, the Gordon is like a... 250 to 300 i believe I, I might be wrong but i think that's what they run so like i said back in 2017 july august area those things were dirt cheap and man it's all about opportunity at that point when will the 2022 hendrick elite start coming out i've only seen the shr cars um actually there are some out um let me scroll back Ugh. slide so there is this one 
right there. We've got this one. This has come out. This is the A Shock. Uh, the Napa's come out. The Hooters have come out. The Blue Book is out. Uh, Larson. Is there a? I don't know if there's a Byron out yet, but yeah, there's plenty of them out, man. So definitely, definitely some of those. Um, okay, so now we're done with the bushes. I did see uh, Matt Kenseth final ride on the request. Uh, what was the other one? I want to make sure. Uh, Jeff and Jimmy. Okay, so we'll do, we'll put these back quick. Going to take me a minute because got to be uh, cautious. But we'll get those put back and then we'll go and take a look at some, let's see, Jimmy, Jeff, and Matt Kenseth final ride. I'll do a couple of Matt Kenseths. And we'll slide that back. So we'll get that put back. It's going to take just a minute. All right, let's see here. Getting the screws put back down so I can put this box back together. Okay. That doesn't appear to be doing anything. So apparently that screw's not getting any tighter. All right, make sure this is the right box. Card and whatnot. No, that's 2019. I need 2015 card. There it is, 2015 card. And wind sticker and all that. Get my pin put back in the box, and off we go to the next car. See, one of these days I'm going to have my shelves all put back together, and then I'll be able to show the grills off a lot faster. I won't have to rebox them every time. Now you see why Sunday specials have been had to take an extra week because Sunday specials I had to uh, try and figure out a way to um, show all the cars off without taking too many boxes out. So I, I did Kurt Busch's first because I didn't have to use quite so many boxes, but. Uh, yeah, the next one, I'm going to have to use quite a few boxes again, so we'll get it figured out one of these days, but definitely, uh, not doing it the easy way at the moment. All right, a couple of Homestead cars here. Bingo. All righty. There we go. Joey Logano, 2015 Daytona. Okay, that one's going to be on the wait list. Uh, the 2015 one's upstairs, so I'm going to have to do another one uh, for a little while, and then I'll go up and grab uh, that one, because that one's quite a ways away. Um, all right, let's see here. Um, yes, there are. there is a Napa 2022 standard in 164. I believe it's on the site, if I'm not mistaken. So, there's, yeah, there should be a Napa. Uh, actually, there should be a lot of cars. There should be an A-Shock, a Napa, a... Kelly Blue Book, a, uh, Lumar. I mean, I think actually almost all of uh, Elliott's 2022s and 164 on the website, I think, so far. Um, I think that Kansas one's going to be a tough one to find. Honestly, though, I be I, I really believe this. I think Kyle Busch's Bristol win is going to be the win of the year in terms of which one is the hardest to find. That Kyle Busch Bristol dirt win is flying off the shelves. Like, I don't even have any. I can't get any more in. I can't find any. So Kyle Busch Bristol dirt win, if you've got one, don't let it go if you want to if you're planning on holding it long term because it's going to be harder and harder to find I personally think. All right. I need to get Kenseth. What was the other one? Kansas. And, uh, and what was the other one? Jimmy and Joe. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So right now, I just picked out a Matt, the Matt Kenseth car, and I picked out a Jimmy Johnson car. I do still have to pick out a Gordon car. I have no idea which one I'm going to choose, but we'll pick one. Yeah, that's the hard... I know you were wanting to try and find... You were having me try to find someone. Like I said, I've been looking, so don't don't get me wrong. I have been trying to find one, but I have been unsuccessful thus far. So I'll keep trying. Don't don't think I'm giving up on you, or I'm, I'm not trying, but I, uh, I'm i just letting you know that what it is. It's, it is almost impossible to find one at the moment. So I'll keep chugging along, but we'll see what I find. All right, here we go. 
So there is the 2017 Matt Kenseth final ride uh, with the DeWalt car. Obviously, the DeWalt colors are always going to be synonymous with Matt Kenseth. Uh, also, just a very good-looking uh, paint scheme. Toyota, it's got a 2017 Elite. What does that mean? 2017 Elites had the best detail, man. I loved them. Absolutely loved them. Uh, so definitely, I mean, how do you not like this car? It's just, it's his rookie car, but on a 2017 Cam Camry. And I don't know. I mean, yes, he went and ran other races with other teams, but if we're being honest, this was really his, his last true competitive race. Um, you know, he had a couple of good runs, but, you know, nothing like what he had back when he was at Gibbs. So... I don't know. I still wonder, though, what he would have looked like in 2019 when Gibbs had that dominant year. I think he would have really been interesting, man. Um, yeah, I did see it. I actually thought, I thought it was pretty good. Because I remember, uh, I think I actually was double-checking to see how difficult it was to make some of those pieces and parts. He did uh, the yellow. I thought the yellow was very good when they because there's some neon yellow on Chase's car, and it can be kind of tricky to do bright colors sometimes. Uh, you know, you have to use different methods to get that color to stay on the darker surface. All right, so we're putting the Kenseth back. Now we're going to go to... Come on, there we go. Get that nice and tight. Next one's going to be actually a very unique Jimmy Johnson one. Yes, it was a nice... The sticky note was the nice and perfect uh, color as well. All right. As we put that back... There we go. Where did I put that box? There's a lid. So that one's ready to go back to the shelf as well. Meanwhile, nope, wrong one. Nope, wrong one. Correct one. We're going to take a look at our next, the next one, which is a Jimmy Johnson. This is his 2016 Martinsville playoff win. Um, I don't know why. This car just, I've always really liked it. I, ever since I had a chance to first pick this one up, I just really wanted that Martinsville car. I think it was the paint scheme with the yellow numbers. Because for the longest time, he had been running paint schemes with uh, the white numbers instead of his regular kind of neon numbers. He'd been, you know, running for like practically his whole career. And then suddenly he was back to these um, in the middle of 2016. They went back to this bright neon colored number. So really like this car. I think it does better than the Homestead because the Homestead, they made it so dark around the base. It actually looks discolored. Um, the confetti looks good. Don't get me wrong, but this one, they just, they didn't, because they didn't have to change the color of the door, it looks a lot better. Um, so I think this one was actually personally, in my opinion, I think the paint scheme ended up looking better on this one. Do I have Jimmy's 2014 Texas win? Um, I actually do. We can show that one off next. Um, the 20, let's see here. Oh, uh, gotta do some looking Johnson. Gotta just make sure I know where I put it. Yes, I do have that one, and that one is actually on the website. So yes, the uh, it's an ARC um, on that one. Uh, so yes, the 2014 Johnson Texas win. I'll actually go pull it quick because I think I know exactly where I put it. It's easier on me when I know exactly where I left it. So I was able to get to it pretty quick. All right. There's the winner, sticker, confetti, all that. Screw down, so it's all good. Well, Ishak, I, um, actually, if I didn't already have one in the works, I would definitely take one, but... Honestly, if you want to um, have me show the detail, I'd love to show it off, um, and then I can send it back to you. So if you want to just send one over and have me do a video on it, show it off, and tell people how to get in contact with you, I'd definitely do it. But um, like I said, I, uh, I think I've already got one in the works, so um, unfortunately I've already got one halfway. But like I said, I'd love to show it off, and heck, if it's better than, better than the other custom, I'll just keep that one and sell the other custom and then i'll uh you know pay you for your time and trouble 
Uh, but anyway, here we go. So this is the Jimmy Johnson Texas win. You can see, look at all that. Look at all that dirt down there. Shredded left rear tire. Everyone remembers this race as the Jeff Gordon-Brad Keselowski fight. Uh, and you can just see, they really, I mean, look at how dirty the bottom of this car is. Like, super dirty. So the 2014 uh, Texas win definitely had plenty of dirt on it. Um, you know, when, when it got finished and they really had it all streaky and whatnot. Um, I don't know. This car has always been an interesting one because of the red vest. They didn't have a lot of red Jimmy Johnson cars. It, it's kind of weird to see the 48 with red on it. Um, but yeah, it was, it had the tall spoiler, uh, shredded tire. Like it's, it's honestly one of the better 2014 race wins. Uh, but that being said, it's, uh, it is an ARC, so it, it isn't the elite, but still, like I said, good top notch race win for sure. Especially when it comes to race detail. Definitely got the damage that we like. All right, getting that one put back. All right, so Johnson's Texas win going back. Almost done. Tight. Perfect. No, not quite yet. Still working on screw. All right, there we go. Clint Boyer Martinsville win. Yes, I actually can show that one because I actually have that autographed. I got an autograph at Kansas by Clint. Uh, he was wandering from the... Where did I catch him wandering from? I think he was wandering from an appearance back to the towards the infield. Or not wandering, but you know, he was on his way from one place to another and I was in the middle and popped my Boyer car out of my bag and got a nice looking signature on there. So anyway, that is the 2014 Johnson Texas win. Like I said, that is on the website. One of these days, like I said, I'm going to have this all organized, and that way all of them can be out in display cases on shelves, and then I can just show them really quick. All right, let's show this one off. So I'd love to say this one's going to be available. It's not. But it is still a really cool car, and it's always good to get a good reference. So there is the 2018 Martinsville car. And that's, you can, you can see what that one looks like here. Lots of confetti. And the one thing I will say, the 2018 cars, look at how wet, like close to the ground the front was. The nose was always so close to the ground. You can see the Clint Boyer signature there. Came out really nice. He had a good pen with him. And then um, it's a Martinsville car, you know, just got good detail. It's got Haas on it. So I don't know. It's the only Clint Boyer car I have with the number 14 on it. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, 26 or 20, 2006. That's a pretty good steal for a Johnson Indy car or Indy. I say Indy car, Indy win from 06. Uh, but yeah, it is the newer Elite, so it doesn't have the braces and tethers, but um, definitely, you know, every other part of it. I love the the confetti and stuff. He also won at Michigan that year. I don't know. It was an okay win, but I still think the Martinsville was better. Yep, like I said, yeah, I actually just answered your question for you. Do I like the Martinsville, Michigan? Martinsville, 100%. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get Clint back in his box and Jimmy, and then we'll move on. I have a Gordon car. Somebody had requested Gordon, so I got to get that one. Where did I put the card somewhere? No, I didn't. We're good. We're good. All right. All right, Jimmy, back to your box. Sit, wave goodbye, everybody. This is a Grail. Oh, what a good car. What a good looking race car. go and where did i put the box oh there it is yeah i i'm keeping three of jimmy's i have his um his three from 2016 i wanted to keep all three of those playoff cars i thought they looked so cool together as a set uh oh i haven't done the 2014 homestead yet just so you know i gotta dig that one out so it may that one may be a little later on when i do finally do that um okay what was the next one on that list i saw gordon i had to do a gordon and 2016 martinsville larson okay i can find that um what they're starting to make 118 scale sprint car wins i have not seen that this is news to me and now i'm extremely interested i'm going to be getting on my phone here in the next five minutes and finding out and verifying that that's accurate because i'm about to flip out because definitely something i would be very interested in let's see let's see let's see now you got me all excited and distracted because I would love Knoxville National Sprint Cars. That would change everything. Hmm. 
Here we go. Acme Sprint Cars. Twenty twenty Kyle Busch Zombie Skittles win. Yes, I actually that's going to be on the Black Friday special. So anyone looking for those? Midnight tonight. Sorry, that one's not midnight tonight. That's midnight tomorrow. Um, I will do probably about 10 to 12 tonight. And like I said, I have yet to decide exactly which ones are going on there. I will probably do them strictly based on request, exactly which ones. Um, wing sprints, wing sprints. I don't see anything about raced versions. Let me check again, though. Don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Nothing for 2023 yet. Let's go to 2022. You have me all sorts of worked up right now. I can't even express... Donnie shots Knoxville win. Whole is it a raced version? Because they R and R has made some raced versions in the past, but I didn't see Acme releasing anything. I don't see anything about a raced version. Is it like dirty? Any Kyle 2018s? Yes, I got one there, so I can't do that. Did they make Kurtz 2015? They made one. They made his Richmond win. He also won at Pocono, I believe, and they did not make that one. Okay, I'm not sure on that. I may have to fact check you there. Fake news. Fake news, the fakest news. I can't even explain it. No, but I'm not sure there. So um, I don't know if they're making that. I don't see anything about that. So I may have to fact check you there, bud, because uh, you made me excited, and now I'm kind of mad. <laughs> All right, let's see here. One second, quick. Uh, Kyle Busch 2018. Yes, we'll do a Kyle Busch 2018. What else is on here? All right, what is a good price for Johnson's 2009 win elite? Um, so his Dover win is a really tough one to find. I want to say those run around two to two fifty. Uh, his Brickyard car is another two to two fifty. Martinsville is one to one fifty, maybe two, depending on the season, I guess. Um, and then I believe there's an ARC of his Dover win, the one in the Lowe's scheme, not the Cobalt scheme, and that one can run somewhere between 125 to 175. So it depends on which one, but 300 is probably fair. Anything under 300 is probably a pretty decent deal. Um, and if you can get anything for 200 or below, probably a really good deal, honestly. Oh, you got you got a 90 for years in elite. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, you can't risk it because it's like his Mountain Dew Kansas win. You think, oh, I'll just get it later when it's cheaper. Well, it's about 300 now. Whoops. Uh, okay, Kurt and Kyle, or sorry, Kyle and Kyle showdown in Chicago. Yes, I can do that one because I have both of those right next to me. Um, okay, so before I go too far, Kyle and Kyle, Chicago. What was the other ones? Um, Kyle Bush 2018. And was that it? 2018 Kyle Bush. Oh, I could do the I could do the Chicago and two birds one stone this thing. Oh yeah, I need to do Larson twenty sixteen and a and a uh, Jeff Gordon. So I'll be right back. Not that far away though. Ooh, we're gonna go old school. I already know which car I want. Yeah, buddy, definitely wanted this one. So for the Gordon car, I picked out last minute, but I definitely, and I shouldn't say last minute, I picked out on the run. I love this Pepsi car. One of my favorites. Absolutely love that thing. Oh, one second here. There we go. Grab the 20. I had one more 2018 I wanted to grab. Okay. There we go. So, um, yes, this is the Jeff Gordon Talladega win from 2004. Many of you will remember this car. It got a lot of Budweiser cans thrown at it. Uh, it was that race. Very memorable. Literally, 
not a Gordon fan. I remember this one in the back of my mind very vividly. So definitely uh, when I grabbed this car, I was really thrilled with it. This is an elite of this car. It came with no boxes. And as you can see, let's get the hood to pop open. The braces and tethers were cut so they could add custom detail to it. So the car is utterly worthless in terms of online. Oh no. Yeah, you can see I gotta glue that back together too. So there's some damage to it. But the good news is even with all the damage and stuff, the car cost me an average of $10. So I'm not complaining one bit. I love this car. Definitely one of my favorites, especially for Jeff Gordon. All right, next one. Do I have a Discord? I do, actually. I recently did that. Uh, will any of the Gordons be on the website? Um, I don't think so, and here's why. And I'll be very clear about it. The Gordon cars, none of them have boxes. None of them. They all came literally bubble wrapped in a giant tote. Um, so because I have no boxes, I don't want to sell any of them on the site because sometimes it can be tricky when someone buys a, something off a website, doesn't realize it's not new and it's got, you know, um, it's got no box. So to avoid all that confusion, most of those are probably going to go through eBay when they do go. And here's the 2018 I wanted to show. This is Kyle Busch's Coke 600 car. Uh, this one is autographed by Kyle Bush on the front and Samantha Bush on the back. I got this off of eBay a while back. Love, love this car. Um, one, because it was one of the more dominant Coke 600s of all time. Red, white, and blue. M&M's car looks really good. Double signature in colored trades. Looks awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, would I be interested in any trades? I've done trades in the past. Uh, I'm definitely not as keen to them. I prefer to... Uh, just do straight selling back and forth. You know, maybe I sell one, then buy one, you know, back, that kind of thing. But I usually try to have uh, money as the mediator because it's easier than trying to uh, hope that one gets shipped from A to B. And, you know, sometimes it's just shipping complications from a shipping company. So always having the money in the middle is just a thing I've done in my, in my time. Um, um, well, if, if you're interested in one, if anyone is interested in the Gordon cars, not this one. I'm telling you right now. Uh-uh, not that. But there are other Gordon cars. If there's one that you're interested in, shoot a message over. Uh, like I said, I don't know if you have Instagram. I have Instagram. Uh, Facebook? I got Facebook. I got banned off Twitter. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Get into that one. Um, you can message me on email, sales at RAS Diecast. Uh, Facebook and, uh, pfft, Facebook and what is, why am I forgetting this? Instagram. So I have message options on all three of them. I'm pretty good at answering, but sometimes I do miss them. Um, and if I do miss it, just send another one. I, I don't intentionally ignore people ever, but sometimes it does happen where I, a message gets lost. So don't feel, but feel free, shoot a message over. I will definitely, um, I'll definitely respond. Like I'm, I do my best. Like I said, some of this stuff, I got too many cars. I'm ready to get rid of some. So if there's one you're really wanting, shoot me a message. I'll I'll try to get it, get you all hooked up. But like this one, this one's not on that list. I love the Coke 600 cars. So this one's not going anywhere. Neither is that that Talladega one, but there is some others. Uh, I'll, I'll even say for specifically a lot of his 07s. Um, there's a few of those. Uh, 2011, there's a couple. 20... Or no, that's 1994. Ooh. And then there's a 2014. So there's a couple Gordons on there. But like I said, none of them have boxes. All of them have their braces and tethers cut if they're elites because of the customizations that were added. So that's why I, I don't put them on the website is just because it's such a weird out of not, you know, it's not normal. All right. So that's the Coke 600. Uh, link for Discord. Um, Not quite yet. I have one made. It's almost ready. I need to double check with somebody who knows Discord better than I do. I set it up one night, but I need to make sure it's secure because I don't want too many people getting in there if they're going to spam stuff. So I need to make sure I got good, solid moderators who can do these, to, who can manage my Discord and keep it clean, keep all the scam out, keep the spam garbage out, keep, you know, keep the trash out of it. So... Before I do links and like get invites going, I have a couple checks to do, but I do have the group set up. I have three different groups. I have one diecast talk, one's just NASCAR talk, and one's more about um, a place to kind of post pictures of your collection or what you're looking to try and find and kind of stuff like that. So like I said, it is set up, but it's not quite ready that I'm going to do the invites yet. I need to do a little bit more. What about mods in here? Um, well, like I said, I can definitely... Um, 
I can definitely add people, but I got to do personal messages to get you guys set up on Discord. So once you guys are all set up in Discord on that specific site, I want to have roughly 10 different moderators before I start letting a bunch of people in. Because like I said, stuff can get posted and spammed in there pretty quick. And I just want to make sure I got that clear. Uh, let's see here. I went to 2018 Pocono and didn't buy Kyle's win. Now I won't. Uh, now I, I assume want it. Not won't. Not won't. I assume you're saying want it. Now you want it. Um, yeah. And sadly, that car disappeared. Like, it's so hard to find that 2018 Pocono. And to be completely honest, I have no idea why. It's not even that nice of a car, to be honest. There's not a bunch of race detail on it. There's not a bunch of cool stuff. It's just sort of bland. And yet, for some reason, it's super hard to find. Now, let me look. Give me one second. Um, 2019. Okay. I do. Do I have it? No. I thought I had the 2018 pin. I don't see it. Maybe I don't. So unfortunately, I don't have the 2018 Pocono pin for you. Um, so if you weren't able to grab it, actually, they might still have the 2018 Pocono pin on their site. So if you went to that and you want to start putting pins with it, like I do, like I love putting these little pins with the cars. Um, Pocono does have some of theirs going backwards. So if you need to get one from, say, 2018, 2016, stuff like that, you can actually find them still. All right. Here we go. So there we go. Here is the, um, this is the, uh, the 2016 Kyle Larson first win autographed elite. Uh, this one is also one that is extremely hard to find, but because it's extremely hard to find, it makes me really enjoy it. Um, because it is also a really cool car, confetti, crazy all over the place. First win, shredded tire, all that stuff. Um, yeah, so this is one that's a really good car. I love to show this one. Uh, do I have any Black Friday sales on the website? I do, but they won't be live until Thursday night at midnight. However, I'm going to preface this one more time. I will list 10 of the Black Fridays tonight. And those are going to be strictly based on requests for people here. So people that are here in the chat will have access or, I guess, early notification to the um, to the first Black Friday deals that will go. They go live tonight. The rest will go tomorrow night. So I will actually roll those out here. You know what? Let's do one in the next five minutes. About five minutes, we'll do our first one. So, um, Okay. Hamlin's 2020 Talladega win um, for trade. Oh, well, I don't, I can't trade you that because I actually still have it. But if you're interested or anyone else, 2020 Talladega pin, I got the pin for it. So the pin for that Talladega win, I do have a few. I love pins. They're so cool. All right, let's see here. When am I going to review 124 scale dirt late models and 164 scale late models? Um, I have done a couple of late models in 124, uh, Chase Elliott and Casey Kane's. Um, and I did one 164. To be completely honest, I don't do a lot of the 164s because they are insanely expensive. Like for a 164 scale model, and I think their starting price is like 25 bucks, it's just a little bit too high for me to do a lot of those. Anything Black Friday on the eBay page? No, the eBay page was a lot of relist. That stuff, there's going to be a mid-December eBay update that's going to be pretty dang good. Is Pyramid Racing a scam site or a legit? Um, I think Pyramid's legit. I've used them once before I started my own site. I got a Kyle Busch... Uh, actually, I think that's where I got my Kyle Busch homestead from way back in 2019. Did I enjoy the World of Outlaws game? I actually never bought it. I have no time, and I... Um, I logged into my Xbox for the first time last week in a while, played a game, sucked horribly at it, and then decided to just hang it up and retire. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't do that one. Uh, Diecast Depot is legit as well, but they have had some issues at times where they oversell cars and then take forever to ship. Um, but I believe 90% of their stuff, they're pretty legit. Like, they, I don't think they're scammers. Like, they would at least give you your refund once you finally get sick of it and, uh, you know, ask for the refund. So should be good to go there. Happy Turkey Day. Not, is it Turkey Day? Is it, it's not midnight. I wasn't on that long. God, oh, making me nervous. Like I've been on since, you know, midnight. All right. Justin, I did just get your message about the looking at some Gordon Diecast. I will send you a picture later today. Uh, just so you know, I see you in the chat. So 
I do see it. I just looked at it. I'll send you a picture later if you want to um, look at them from there. I'll let you know which ones I'm not really looking to get rid of because there are some in the case that I'm, I'm not really looking to get rid of, but I got some other ones that um, definitely open. Oh, I need some water. That's good. Byron, Flames of Independence. That is a pretty good one. Any Truex 2019 Charlotte win? Well, he didn't win at Charlotte in 2019. Yeah, he didn't win Charlotte. Um, oh, oh, never mind. Yeah, he did. He won the Coke 600. I was thinking the Roval. <laughs> um, I definitely don't plan on getting rid of any Coke 600. So the only Coke 600 that will be on the website this weekend is Harvick's 2011 Coke 600 Elite. Um, and that's because I found a second one. So otherwise, all Coke 600s, not going to be available. All Daytona 500s besides... Nope, no, yeah, all. All Daytona 500s, not going to be available. So those two races are ones that it's just going to be out of luck. Um, and then a couple of other random ones, but I'm just letting you know right now, if you're looking specifically for those two races, those won't be on there. So I just want to, don't want you to be looking around for them if they're not going to be there. Uh, Dream Diecast to buy. Um, personally, it's a it's a custom I found I saw on Facebook. Somebody made a custom of Casey Kane's 2012 Rock Rockingham truck win the number four Rockwell tools car or truck. And they made a great custom of it. And I would love to get that custom. So that would be on my list along with, um, 2016 Elliott Mountain Dew elite. Never got that one. Always been looking, um, have the world of outlaw game. Uh, I hope it's good. I just, I haven't had a chance to play it yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, you have a Charlotte win. Any trades for it? Um, like I said, it would be a, it would be like a, I would buy that car from you, and then if you bought a car back, kind of thing. That would just be how I do things in the middle. Uh, just because I actually am, I'm actually working through a scam right now with PayPal because I did PayPal for or uh, goods and services. I'm protected, and I'm gonna get my money back. But that's a now you see, ex you know exactly why I do it that way because you just never know when someone's gonna try and scam you and. That's I just like to be on the safe side with every purchase I make. Do I have any Xfinity cars going on the site Friday? Yes, there will be some Xfinity cars going on there. Any Southern 500s? Yes, uh, there will be there will be a few different ones. I want to say um, I want to say Brad Keselowski 2018, 2019. No, sorry, 2020. Yeah, 2020 Kevin Harvick, 2016. Martin Truex, 2015, I don't remember who, no, 2015 was Carl, it wasn't Carl. There's a few different ones, that's all I can say. I, I know there's a few different ones. I want to say there's a 2014 Kevin Harvick. There's there's a few Southerns, so there will be some of those. Um, so there are going to be a couple. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Elliot's 2022 Rubicon's a cool car, but the one I'm looking for is 2016. Okay, guys, we have reached that point of the show where it's time to put our first... Um, oh, well, that's cool. Maybe I will do some video games. I do got I want to get more people into dirt racing. Um, anyway, you can see the Brad Keselowski. Uh, yeah, I can go grab it off the shelf real quick. But first, we are going to put a poll together. All right, first things first. In the chat, who is the driver that we should make the first Black Friday deal on? So I'm going to put one of the Black Friday deals live as the show is going or as the stream is going. And as soon as I put it live, I will let you know. I, I will actually count it down. Uh, Carl Edwards Coke 600 custom. I actually have a Coke 600 custom, and I'm not listing it for that because I like Coke 600. <laughs> so Kyle Busch, Kyle Busch. I got two Kyle Busch votes. Three Kyle. No, no, you no. Uh, you voted twice. I'm not counting that. Kyle, Kyle, one Hamlin, one Harvick. Uh, the Elliott Baja Blast car. I think I can. I gotta find it. Uh, I do see plenty of Kyle here. Yeah, we're going to do a Kyle Bush. Okay, guys. First Black Friday deal of the year will be going live here in just one moment. I actually have to log into my phone to make it go live. So give me a second. I got to log into my website through the back door portal. Here we go. Any more water? I'm thirsty. I will tell you exactly what car it is, just so you guys know exactly which one you're looking for. Oh, wow. Now, the first Black Friday deal is going to be Kyle Bush's 
Uh, actually, it's a, I'll say exactly what it is. It's going to be a Kyle Busch Elite. Um, now, it's not a raced version. The first one will not be a raced version. The good news for everybody that's trying to find it, it is, however, going to be a... Um, or no, it, it is it is going to be a race version. My bad. Uh, I was looking at the wrong one. I was looking at his um, M&M's throwback from 2020. For those of you who don't know, that Elite has actually been discounted multiple times already. It's down to like 55. So a Kyle Busch uh, Elite from 2020, the throwback car, that's actually already down pretty low. But I did make that invisible, right? Okay, I did. So let's see. What was that first one? I know it's in here. Give me a second to find it. Find it. Where are you? Oh, I never did get the pictures taken for one of these. Yep, I missed some 2019 pictures on Kyle Busch. So there's a few of the 2019s that won't be live. Oh, I, I lost it. Hold on a minute. Still scrolling, looking for... For it doing this on a phone is a lot harder. There it is. Okay, now I'm gonna make I'm gonna stand up real quick, and go look at my shelf, make sure I got it before I go too far. Yep, I do. All right, first Black Friday deal of the day is going to be Kyle Bush's 2020 Skittles Zombies car, the one that ran at. Um, uh, Texas, or he won at Texas with back in 2020. The Elite is discounted to $59.99 starting now. And the 2020 Texas win, now this is the ARC version, so ARC, of course, not quite as much fun there because, uh, unfortunately, we uh, can't have as much fun. The ARC has been discounted to $39.99 and that is live now. So Kyle Busch, Texas win is going. And like I said, that's going to be live. So if somebody doesn't end up wanting it and it just goes all weekend, it's just going to go all weekend. It's no big deal. So those are the first two. We've done a couple Kyle Busch, Texas wins. We'll do another one in probably another 10, 15 minutes. We'll do another uh, another driver or another car. It's all up to all up to the people. The people make the vote. Wow, this water feels really good. Okay. Uh, the site name is R-A-S. Not C-A-S, R-A-S. Okay, so those are up. Now, um, like I said, I'll put this Michigan car back quick for Kyle Larson. And what's our next... Uh, oh, yeah, the, the Chicago Land set. And just so you guys know, no, the Chicago Land set will never be for sale. I was at that race, so... That, the chances of that going up for sale are uh, less than zero. Just letting you guys know ahead of time. I don't, I don't want to get people's hopes up when there's no chance. There we go. Get that put back. So the Kyle Larson Michigan is back in its box, ready to get back to the shelf with all the other Kyle Larson wins. All righty. How would you feel to have Kyle Busch Bristol Dirt win? Uh, I will have one of them coming in to do a review on. Actually, it's on the way. Uh, I just know that I have one person on the site that had pre-ordered it, so I have to try and see if uh, I can get that one fulfilled for him. And then if I find any extras, I have a waiting list of a couple people that are looking for them. So. All right, let's see here. Oh, the 2014 Texas. Well, the 2014 Texas is already on there, luckily. But like I said, the, that one goes on uh, tomorrow night. So that one's going to go a little bit later. Uh, Mark, you wanted to see the Southern 500 car. Yes, I can do that. Um, let me run over and grab that one. I'll grab a couple of others while I'm up. Um, well, before I go, we're going to do this one without having to open the case because you can see there's some trash in front of it. That is my Kyle Busch Chicagoland win from 2018 with the pin. And crazy enough, I ended up finding a second pin for the Kyle Larson. So I do have the um, the set from Chicago. And as you can see, this is my whole race wins that I've seen in person case. 
Uh, so very, very cool. I, I'm just, I love this collection. Uh, Kurt Busch's car is going to go right there in that empty spot. Joey Logano's Gateway, Bubba Wallace, Kansas, and then Chris Busher, Bristol. So I got to see some cool winners this year. But, um, there you go. Tripod. And then, um, where did I get the case? I actually found the case at a garage sale. As weird as it is. All right, so there's that one. Let me go grab the Brad Martinsville quick. Or, or not Martinsville. I can grab that one, too, if you want to look at it. But I'll grab the Brad Darlington. Okay, so here's the Brad Darlington. Elliot 2018 Baja Blast. Um, I have his liquid color in autographed. The coolest of the Baja cars, personally. Here we go. So this is Brad's 2018 Darlington win. And this one's actually kind of cool because you get a little flag with it. So there's the American flag off it. Um, but yeah, so we do have that one here. Uh, the Miller Genuine Draft Car. Probably my second favorite win from 2018 of his. I loved, loved his Indy win. It just looked really good. Unfortunately, it yellowed due to Lionel quality control issues. But this one I always thought looked pretty cool. I will say this is one of those races that I was a little mad when he won because Larson had ran so well and was winless. And then a caution just caught him at the wrong time and gave Brad the lead. And that's all it wrote. But still a really good car. A lot of dirt on it and stuff, too. So... Good, uh, good, solid race win from 2018, nonetheless. Can I show it again? Which one was that? Oh yes, the liquid. Yeah, I can. I, I can actually. I was wondering if anyone was going to ask about it because I actually left it upstairs, so I'm going to have to make a request to go get that one. So that one will be on its, uh, a little bit, I guess. That one because I have to go get it from another floor. That one might take a little bit longer, just a wee little bit. Oh, stacks get a little topsy turvy. Okay, let's get into some chats again. Um, yeah, if they had had the chrome for that car, it would look really good. Can I show a color chrome diecast? Doesn't matter which one. Plan to get Daniel Hemrick's championship in color chrome. Well, good for you. Or sorry, not good for you. Good thing for you, but also good for you. Um, let's see. Let me look behind me quick. Probably the most expensive color chrome I have. Not the coolest, because my coolest one is probably my Ch uh, Casey Kane Indy Win Chrome uh, door number. I have the door number there. That's pretty cool. But this one is the Chase Elliott Kansas Win color chrome. I actually got all three finishes. And there you can see what the color chrome looks like in green. I will say I wasn't as big a fan of the green color chrome. I thought it looked better um, on cars that are white or black, but it's not a bad look. It just I think that the um, the liquid actually looked better than the chrome on on this one specifically. So this is what the chrome looks like on this. You can see it's not quite as like shiny or shimmery as like a mirror. Like the cars used to look like a mirror when they had the chrome finish. Now it's a little more. Uh, faded uh, foggy maybe foggy is the word a little bit foggier looking chrome but it is still a really good looking finish don't get me wrong uh the hammer car in, in the orange is gonna look good too the the only car i've ever had in color chrome that was orange was um casey kane's 2005 dodge charger from the daytona race so i do have that one yeah larson has been so close and just never managed to get the the southern 500 Uh, I actually don't have the kitty down here. He must be upstairs. All right. Awesome to see someone who has tons of 124s. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully a few of you guys will have some of these soon. <laughs> um, I have like 500 164s, probably over 700 now. Woof. Well, the, here's the thing. Uh, I haven't announced this yet because I didn't want to spoil the party, but maybe it's a good time to do it in the middle. Actually, let's put one more live first. Then we'll do the, then we'll do that. Uh, do I have any Looney Tunes cars? Uh, I do have the Kyle Busch Indiana Jones from 2008. Uh, that's the Darlington win. 
And I have the... No, no Looney Tunes. Just that one. Yeah, yeah. The other one isn't that. That's a different one. Uh, I have Harvick's 2021 Coda Color Chrome. Pretty good. I mean, the Color Chromes, like I said, they're good-looking cars. I just think back in, like, 2005 and six, the Chrome was just a higher-quality Chrome. Like, it was almost like a perfect mirror. So I think they just did a better job of really fine-tuning the Chrome back then, personally. Uh, Cody Ware, 124th. I think it all got canceled. I'd have to double-check, but I thought Cody Ware's car got canceled, sadly. Uh, is it stupid of me to get my favorite Mountain Dew flavors, um, and save the bottle after I'm done? Only to do, oh, only to do a bottle per favorite flavor? Uh, a little weird. I'm not gonna lie, for a plastic bottle, that'd be a little weird. I'd say if it was, like, a metal can, back when they, you know, had metal cans, or not metal cans, like, metal bottles, um, and different, like, kind of unique things like that, I don't think those are weird. But when it's just your normal, basic bottle or can... It's a little different. Don't get me wrong. I actually have a can of Mountain Dew from 2004 uh, that I still have saved. I left it and kind of hid it because I um, I wanted to leave it somewhere when I found it. And it's the old, old logo from like 2004 for Mountain Dew. And I don't know. I always thought it was kind of cool. So I, I actually still have that to this day. So maybe it's not that weird, but I, I saved it in the shop. You know what I mean? Will I sell Harvick 2016 Kansas? Not a chance. Sorry, I was at that race. So anytime I'm at a race, it's uh, out of luck there. Uh, Lionel sucks. They cancel all diecasts. Might as well go out of business. Well, I mean, I get what they're trying to do. I just think their problem is they're trying too hard to offer too many. Um, I think at some point you have to say, yeah, we're going to go ahead and offer uh, Cody Ware. And then maybe we won't make 20 different Chase Elliott versions. But that being said, when they make Chase Elliott, they get sold. You know, at the end of the day, they make 15 variations of an Elliott car. They all get sold, so Lionel's got to make money. That's their job, but it just sucks when you want to, you know, when you want to see that. Will I trade anything? Like I said, um, it'll be a, pretty much a sell-only thing. Like I said, it's on. it'll be on the um, on the website if it's not already. i got to look. Lookity, lookity, look. I'll look right now while I'm at it. Now, you got my attention, so I can take a look quick. Uh, 20. Oh, I did. Okay. Yeah. We are at a Coke 600 cards. I thought I had one more Coke 600 for Brad, but I don't. That one is apparently gone. Yep. It looks like I still have the Martinsville with the pin at 130, uh, or a 129. I'll drop it to 124 for the weekend. So yeah, it's, it should be at 124 for the weekend. Because you've asked about it so many times, I'm going to drop it there and just leave it. So, yes, that Martinsville's still there. Don't you worry. Um, but, yeah, that one, that one, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not doing any trades at the moment because I'll show you one more time why I'm not doing any trades. I have too many cars. <laughs> they are drowning. All right, let's see here. Uh, let me go down. Here we go. It's Elliot time. Uh, sure. You know what? I haven't shown it off yet. Let's go look at that Chase Elliott Homestead from 2014. How about that? Um, still got that 2009 Martinsville. Glad to hear it. I love it. That's a cool car, man. Um, have you ever pre-ordered a car and when it gets DNP, is so what happens? Uh, nothing, really, because most of the places bill when it ships. Now, here's what I will say. So if you guys don't know, my website, if you do pre-order... It does charge up front if it's a card. Now, there is an option when you check out that says PayPal for pre-orders. That one, you don't have to pay anything. It just says, here's my PayPal address, and then I send a, a PayPal invoice when uh, when it comes out. But if you, you, if you want to use a card, it will do it right away. Like, it, you, it charges it up front, and then just when it comes in, it ships. And the reason I did that was because I had a ton of times where... People wanted their cars, but I couldn't get a hold of them to get the payment part taken care of, and they ended up getting canceled. And it, and I say I tried. I, I sent five, six emails, tried phone calls. You know, I, I did put the effort to get a hold of people. It's just, it's hard. Sometimes, you know, your phone call comes up, and you're like, ah, oh, that looks like a scam. And, you know, emails get thrown in the spam folder and that stuff. So I've done that route to prevent that. Now, when something gets DNP'd, 
So the transaction goes through. You know, it's been pulled out of your account or it's been, you know, it got paid or whatnot. So when it gets DNP'd, I go in and hit refund. And so all of a sudden, once it gets DNP'd, I send an email, say, hey, sorry, this one got DNP'd. Unfortunately, they're not making it. And then all of a sudden, you know, this one happened to be 164th. And then with, with shipping and everything, it was like 14 bucks. And then all of a sudden, 14 bucks goes back into their account. They've been refunded with an email that tells them why. And that's it. And that's just what it is. So it's happened before. I find it a lot easier for me to refund someone without their knowledge than to try and find their information to charge them a card, you know? So that, that was the way to do it. Yeah, DNPs with licensing agreements are annoying, especially with Coca-Cola and Monster. Those are the worst. Um, all right, let me get some more water here. Will I ever sell any of my Iowa cars? Um, not that I've been to. Uh, the only Iowa car that I have that I actually wasn't at the race of is the John Hunter Nemechek from 2017. So that one is, I think, even on the website. But if I was at the race, those generally stick with me. There's no such thing as too much. Oh, there's such a thing as too much. And I have reached that point. <laughs> too much is just when you can't walk because you're stripping over boxes all day. <laughs> That's the too much point. Um, let's see here. Everyone's saying that Chase Elliott has the same thing. It's uh, different sponsors. Denny Hamlin having a car with different word. Still hate both of them. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't think they needed to make four different variations with one, the different word. Um, but that being said, I mean, would I rather have the Chase Elliott one with the Valvoline logo versus the Blue Def logo versus the, you know, four different little logos on the side? Or would I get rid of one of those to get the Cody Ware car? I choose the Cody Ware car. All right. Yep, and then Clyde, you just use Venmo. But you use you when you check out, you hit PayPal for pre-order and then pay through Venmo. So it still works. But yes, that is the other option. If you want to use a Venmo or something, still the PayPal for pre-order button. But that's it just gives me a contact to, to, to get a hold of. Can I make a video to show how to change the tires on the next gen car since it's a new car? Definitely. When I get my I have another Chase Briscoe coming because um A Shot got my last one. And when I said last one, it was his pre-order. So I did the review on it today. You probably if you haven't seen it, it posted a few hours back uh and it actually shipped today or yesterday yesterday yeah it shipped yesterday so um his car is already on the way and he'll be able to uh, get his i think saturday but i didn't get a chance to swap tires yet so that will be a video i make at some point elliot dover win i got i got one coming i think you said you wanted one if not i got an extra so i don't i don't worry <laughs> All right. Kimmy 124th is going to be hard to find. I think it's going to be a fun one to find. I think that'll be actually a pretty popular one. Um, wish Stenhouse could get some love. Uh, I love his paint schemes, but I do think my favorite of uh, Stenhouse's is his first start with um, with uh, 20... What is it? 2011? 20... Yeah, 2011 Wood Brothers. His first start. That one looks amazing. ADC, I think, makes the best quality diecast regardless of the racing series. Love the Bobby Pierce Scooby-Doo. That's a good car. I do have one ADC car on the website left, and that is Chase Elliott's A-Shock Late Model. Hint, hint, the Late Model will be on Black Friday starting tomorrow night. So that one will be out there. Okay, now um, next one, we are. it is finally time to do our second Black Friday um what am I trying to say? Black Friday live thing? I'm having trouble uh, making it easy to say. So the very next one that will be coming through is... Let's see here. i got to do my, my notes. Okay. Live chat. All right. We're good to go. So it is time to do our second discounted item for Black Friday. What non-Kyle Bush driver should it be? Did I hit live chat or top chat? I want live chat. There we go. All right. I don't see anything in here. Hmm, what driver? I see Hamlin. I see, well, that's Hamlin twice. I see a Larson, Hamlin, Harvick. Oh, that's three votes for Hamlin from the same person. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Dale Sr.? I don't have any Dale Sr., man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, did, I started this last year. Uh, he didn't, uh, did, we didn't have Dale Sr. stuff around at that time. Also, I'm assuming that um, 
I'm reading here. Yeah, here we go. I'm assuming that Nick, I won't say your last name, I, want, I like to keep things, but I assume Nick is watching. Nick has gotten the first of the Kyle Busch uh, Texas win ARCs. So Kyle Busch, Texas ARC, heading to Nick on Monday. So Nick got number one. Now, there's still one ARC and one elite left for that. Now, all right, it has been decided. The driver. Okay, here we go. There we go. Sorry, I was doing some double tasking. And as you can tell, I suck at multitasking. All right, guys, the Hamlin car, or sorry, the driver that will be discounted is Denny Hamlin. The car that will be discounted is the Talladega win. The Talladega win for, um, oh gosh, I hit the wrong button there. The Talladega win for Denny Hamlin on ARC is down to 49 or 45. And the elite for Denny Hamlin from Talladega is down to 64. So the elite for Denny in uh, Talladega and the ARC for Talladega are both discounted, and those are both live. Now, <laughs> takes me a minute to always get these to save. So yes, the Talladega win is now discounted in ARC to 45 and to Elite to 65. So both are the discounted, and just because I'm feeling generous, and it's fun. It's fun to be generous. The first two. Or the first one. Well, it's the first two, because there's elites and ARCs. But the first two will get free pins, because why not? I got I got, a, I got, three more pins on the shelf. I can do that. So these will be free with the first two that get the Talladega wins. So Talladega wins are live. I don't know if they'll get bought today. They might get bought Monday. I don't know. But these two are going with the next two Talladega wins that go out. So for sure, I'm just going to go put them with that bin. There we go. And the next two Talladega cars for Denny Hamlin to go out, whether it's today, it could be next year, the next two of them get free pins. Okay, so that's our next, uh, or our second of the Black Friday items that are getting discounted. Now, the next thing we're going to take a look at here real quickly, I need to put this back. This is the Talladega win for Jeff Gordon. Definitely a good one. Uh, you probably got a lot of Denny Hamlin cars. I'm trying to think if there's any new ones. The only... The only other car that would actually be discounted at this point is uh, Darlington, maybe? There's not a lot of Denny cars left. <laughs> I think, oh, there's a Dover. There is a Dover. That's right. I forgot. There is a uh, Hamlin Dover out there, I believe. Can I show the 164 scale collection? Well, I'd like to. Unfortunately, I don't really have it out. And when I say out, my 164 scale collection is all in a shoebox. Not just in a shoebox, but also boxed up in a shoebox. So, unfortunately, I can't get to many of my 164s. Uh, what I can get to is a couple of them that I've sitting on the desk here. One of them is the A-Shot car. You might remember this from the video where I showed you how to get the base off the car. Well, the car sat on my desk and never moved. <laughs> and then um, I have a couple of custom Brett Moffats upstairs. Um, I got, I think, like a Chase Elliott late model. And a couple of other 164s, but unfortunately, I don't. As you can tell, shelf space is at a premium, and the 164s have not been given that premium so far. So unfortunately, those uh, those are the ones we're kind of sitting on. Now, let me get back into the chat here quick. Uh, Star Wars GM dealer. I have the Star Wars 20 2005 car. What I was going to ask is, what is the next car I should grab for show and tell? I need more water. All right. So in the chat, let me know what you guys think the next show and tell, or not show and tell, sorry. What, yeah, yeah, show and tell. I'm, I am all over the place tonight. Oh, there we go. So what should the next show and tell car be that I bring up to the pay, or to the desk here? Ooh, that's a good one, Parker. The Justin Haley Daytona win. Bowman Martinsville. Gordon Las Vegas. Gordon Las Vegas. I don't think I have that one. No, no, I don't have that one. Dale Jr. Sweep set. Wait, Dale Jr. Sweep. Oh, the Pocono set. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's a good one. 2016 Baja Blast. I do have that one. It is buried in a bin with all my other Chase Elliott cars that unfortunately had to get boxed or binned up. 
Um, I can't get to some of them, but I will have to uh, do some digging at some point. All right. I will, let's see, don't have 21 Vegas? No, I don't have that one anymore. That one went to the eBay page a while back. Um, I had to cut my Gordon collection down so it could fit in, this, in one of these, uh, in one of those cases, because I didn't have anywhere else to put it, so I did that. Kozlowski 2014 Talladega. Ah, that's a good one. The thing is that that, that Dega car won't be on the Black Friday sale. I, I like that car too much. That's one of those weird off cars that don't, they're not super significant for racing wise, like a Daytona or Homestead or, you know, Coke 600, any of those. But that car I liked so much, it didn't get onto the site along with a couple others. So there's a few of them like that that just didn't make the cut. All right. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and do the Junior Sweep Set from Pocono. So I'm going to go grab that. And I will also be grabbing something else, but I forgot. I'm going to question what it was. Hmm. The only reason... Yeah, we're going to do the Junior Pocono Set. We'll do that one. So we'll do the Junior Pocono Set real quick. Was there another car I was thinking? I'm losing my voice, guys. We may not be able to do this. Uh, I don't have Reddick's Megadeth. I only have his raced versions. I'm, I'm mainly a raced version collector. I'm just going to get that out of the way right now. If it's not a raced version, chances are I don't have it. All right, let's see here. So I'm going to go grab that set of Pocono cards real quick as I fade into the darkness. <clears throat> Oh, that's Ty Dillon. No, you are not Dale Jr. You are Ty Dillon. You don't get to get that special treatment. There we go. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, there we go. Hey, I don't, I don't blame you there, Kyle. I love it. Collect what looks cool, personally. I love raced detail. Like, I love dirt, grime, tire marks, all that stuff. So that's why I collect raced versions is because I think they look cool. I love the raced version stuff. I love some of the playoff markings, that kind of thing, too. Um, you know, to me, a clean die cast has its place, but it's got to be a really good-looking clean die cast for me to want to jump on it. And sadly, with the number location this year, there weren't very many I was willing to jump on. All right, so let's see here. I'm. Oh, uh, what am I doing here? This is the. Let me look. Let me look. Go bowling. Is this the July or the June? There we go. Go bowling is June. Okay, yes. So this one is going to be. Okay, yep. That Michael Baker. So this is the second one. This is Dale Jr.'s Pocono second race. Um. So that's technically the sweep car. Did it have a broom? Hmm. I thought it used to come with a broom, but I think actually the broom might have got sold. Because I actually had this car in a dual autographed edition a while back. And I know what people would think. Like, why did you get a normal version when I had a dual autographed? Well, I'll tell you why. I got this car for about, I don't know, 100 bucks maybe. And then I sold the dual autograph car for 350 and was able to buy two other cars I really wanted. So I got basically three cars and just traded the autograph. And I'll explain to you exactly which other car I bought. And I'll show it because it's really cool. There we go. Yeah, the Michael Baker International was a great sponsorship because everyone knows that car. It's the Michael Baker car. And yet he only sponsored the car once and nobody knows who the heck it is. Smartest thing you could have done. So yeah, um, of these two, I actually prefer this car. I think the dirt is a little bit better on the na na uh, National Guard car. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I don't know. The dirt just looks solid to me. Um, both of them are pretty good. I think he won the second one on more of a fuel mileage race than the first one. Um, but the National Guard car for 2014 was a good looking race car. Uh, the Daytona car looked good. So definitely some good ones there. But oh man, I, I love that one, man. Um, let's see. No broom. Yeah, I didn't have a broom on that one. I did on the dual autograph one. That's why I was able to get 350 for it because it had all the right pieces and parts. 
even though the broom actually probably came out of this one. But like I said, I ended up getting to have this one, this one, and you know what? I'm not even going to say it. I'm going to show it. I'm going to show you the other car I got with it because it was totally worth it. Uh, who's my favorite driver? Chase Elliott, Casey Kane, Noah Gregson, Brett Moffat. Those are kind of my, my big four. Um, and in order, it like, I guess Noah and Chase will race each other next year. Probably still going to be Chase ahead of Noah, but it's, it's close. I really like Noah. He's a, he's fun. Um, I do have Brett over Noah though. So it would be Chase. If Chase and Brett are in the same race, I'm not sure. I might be a Brett Moffat fan first. It's hard to say. It's, it's pretty close between Chase and Brett, and then Noah would be the in kind of that third-place spot. And then Casey Kane is, like, the hero, the all-time favorite. You know, grew up watching him since I was, you know, eight, nine years old. And so that's that's kind of that childhood hero thing. Um, so Casey Kane's kind of in that role. No one will ever touch that, but definitely still have my favorites. Will these be on the store? At some point, I didn't have any time to get these pictured and, and made into listings, so these will go on the site at some point. Um, but at the time being, I really like the Pocono cars, so they're they're uh, they're safe where they're at. Uh, this is not Hamlin. No, the Hamlin was the discounted car. We were doing the discounted car for Hamlin. That was the, um, the Talladega car. So the Talladega car for Denny Hamlin got discounted. All right, now, the next thing that I was going to do was... Um, I forgot. I forgot again. Oh, memory's getting bad. 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 Let's see what we got here. What is this? So that's the Michael Baker car. So I gotta get the Michael Baker car put back first. Probably. Maybe. There we go. So I'll get that one put back, and then I'll show you the car I got with this. Because I, I don't want to give it away, because I actually am really happy with that car. And I gotta show it off, because it's super cool. All right, let's see here. My favorite driver is Smoke, uh, co-owner of the Stuart Haas Racing. Yeah, I'm sure. That's for sure. <laughs> of course, Denny Hamlin would say championships don't mean that much. I mean, he's right, <laughs> but... Uh, let's see here. Selling these at some point. Do I plan on getting Kurt's Jordan car? Do I plan on it? I have a spot reserved for it, just below AJ Allmendinger's car. Those are the cars I have seen win in person, and that will be what not addition? That's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth. That is the sixteenth car I have, or sixteenth race that I have been to in the Cup Series. So yes, that one will be um, that one will be uh, on my list. All right, read a couple more chats while I'm putting these away. Got the Hamlin Dega. Oh, I just saw that. My phone just beeped at me. Well, good news, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new uh, Talladega... Let's see, I can't speak right. We have a new Denny Hamlin Talladega diecast owner. That would be Denny Hamlin fan, or I guess it's FL. It's Florida Denny Hamlin fan 99 in the chat. Let's get a little bit of applause down there. We got a nice ARC with, I say with, a free pin. So this is actually your second Denny Hamlin car that comes with the pin because your Southern 500 car that I sent you a couple months back also has the pin. So that's that's pretty good. I like. I think that's going to look really cool. Next thing you got to do is get your uh, get your Vegas one. Not sure what that was. Um, <clears throat> How do I become an Elliott fan? I was a Bill Elliott fan back in two thousand three. I actually have a really cool Bill Elliott sweatshirt um, that I really like to wear. It's no hoodie and stuff, but it's the old school Everham Nine. Bill Elliott, and so, yeah, that's how I'm a Chase Elliott fan. Is I was a Bill Elliott fan. As you know, Bill Elliott retires. Casey Kane takes over the nine, so then I'm a Casey Kane fan. And so that kind of explains why I then transitioned back to Elliott so easily is because I was already an Elliott fan, you know? So that meant, that did make it a little easier. All right, give me one second here because somebody... Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Ah. Oh. All right. The cat was trying to make an appearance, but he did not. <clears throat> he ran. Oh, 
Okay, got a couple of boxes I just pulled off the shelf because I want to make sure I exactly remember whose these go to. So this one goes to Nick. So that one goes to Nick. And this one goes to Winter. All right. So a couple of these are out the door going to their new homes. Congratulations to all. And then we got to go look at our next one. Now that I got the Michael Baker put away and the Poconos, I got to show you that car I got with the trade. Well, not a trade. It wasn't a trade. It was a sell and then go get two other things in its place. Uh, so I got to show those off quick too. There we go. All right. Let's see here. Oh, Dale pitted before Gordon and held him off. Okay, I thought it was pit strategy. I can get a Jimmy car. What in the world's going on down here? Why are these why are these messages getting deleted? I'm confused. These better be legit deleting. If you're just deleting someone's messages for no good, I'll take your mod away. <laughs> Nope, wrong one. Hold on. Hold on. Still looking. Which one am I missing? This one. There we go. So here is, as I walk back to the table, the car I ended up getting. There we go. I need some water. Oh, okay. Here we go. So um, here's the car I ended up getting in that trade or that turn. Ugh. I need that water, man. My voice is getting tired, man. Okay, so here's the car I ended up getting. Anyone want to guess which car is inside? For the hint, they only made this elite box and sleeve style for one season, 2012. So you know it's a 2012 car. Which car is it? And then once you, uh, well, even if you don't guess it right, I'm still going to show it. You get my uh, phone to stay in the tripod without falling out. There we go. 20, 2012, not the championship car. It's a 2012 car. So it's an Elite from 2012. Let's see who's got the first guess on here. Harvard Coke 600? No, that was 2011. And, yep, Stuart was 2011. Guessing an Elite from 2012? Not quite. Can I get a hint? Earnhardt, Michigan? Good Lord, it was the first guess. Wow. Look at you guys go. Literally the first guessed actual car from 2012. And it was a perfect guess. I can't believe nobody even recommended that it could have been Casey Kane's Coke 600. There we go. It was Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Michigan Win Elite dual autographed by Steve Letarte and Dale Earnhardt Jr. I got this car for like, I got this car, the other Pocono car, and the other one. The my, So I got both Pocono cars and this car for the same as a dual autograph Pocono uh, second car. So you can tell this was a very worthy trade because this car is awesome. I love this car. This is such a cool car. Dual autograph makes it like three times better. Um, but I mean, it's a Mountain Dew car. I love Mountain Dew cars. This wasn't the only, this wasn't the primary Mountain Dew car though. So the Mountain Dew curse that supposedly existed technically wasn't broken here because it was sponsored by the Dark Knight. The first time that happened was still Kansas with um, still Kansas with Kane or not Kane Elliot. But yeah, definitely this was one of my favorite additions in that trade for sure. So yeah, if you're thinking that's going to end up on the site, sorry, this is one of those really cool ones that's just not going anywhere. Dale Jr. cars that I have no intention of moving are, uh, there's a couple Talladegas, that car, Daytona 500 cars, and I think it's Bristol. And that's it. Uh, lost, the rest are all going to be moving. See, there's all the Kane Coke 600 guesses. I knew that had to be coming. I mean, how could people not guess that? Marcus Ambrose Glenwin. I do have that car, but it wasn't that one. So, uh, the Mountain Dew Curse. Yes, the primary paint scheme and primary sponsor of Mountain Dew did not win for a very long time. Not as bad as the McDonald's Curse. But it was pretty bad. Like, it took, oh, I think, close to a decade. So it took quite a while for a car with Mountain Dew as the primary sponsor to win. Kane came close a few different times. Elliot had a couple decent runs early on. 
did end up getting it in 2018. Dale Jr. never got primary Mountain Dew. And when I say primary Mountain Dew, I'm not referring to Amp Energy because Amp Energy is not the same as Mountain Dew. So yes, he did win with um, Amp Energy in 2008, but it was um, it wasn't the Mountain Dew brand because it's a different brand for um, for Amp. Do I have Jeremy Mayfield Mountain Dew Pitch Black? I never have got that car, actually. I've always wanted to get one, but I've never been able to get my hands on it. Like, I've always just looked for a good deal. It's not like I couldn't grab it, but... Um, Jeremy Mayfield had a couple good Mountain Dew cars. Pitch Black is probably his best. Hooters has not won since 1992, and I've seen them be close. I was at Bristol this year. He's finished second in that car three times already. At least three times he's finished second in the Hooters car. So the Hooters car has been knocking on the door, but he hasn't got there yet. Yeah, the, the pitch black car, I want an Elite. If I'm going to get the Jeremy Mayfield uh, one, I'm going to get it in Elite. For sure. Okay, what is going on? Oh, that's weird. Give me one second here. I got to reset a Wi-Fi router. Oh, no, I am on the right router. I'm good. I was on the wrong router for some reason. And corrected. There we go. All righty. So the next thing we're going to take a look at, um, oh, I've gone through a lot of cars. What's the next one I should bring out? Is it time for the Chase Elliott car? Oh, Gene Haas would like to see the Gene Haas cars. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I do have Almirola. Um, I do have Custer, Harvick. So yeah, I think I got all of them. I just showed a Harvick car not that long ago. I can go for, let's see, Smithfield. I think I got the Talladega car for him. Custer's first win. I have that one dual autographed. Um, actually there is a Custer car on the website too. So that, that got to count for something. Go get it, Gene. <laughs> go find it. Gene Haas needs to see his own cars for certain. Let's grab. <laughs> I'm debating which one I want to grab. Really thinking long and hard on it. I think we're going to get. Yeah, I know which one I want to grab. I know I have the Smithfield car. I just can't seem to figure out where I left it. There it is. I know this one's only two years old. Not even. This is last year's car. But this is Eric Almirola's New Hampshire win. But I did also get the pin. So I always like to show these off because I love getting pins with these. There we go. So here is the uh, pin for last year's race, the Foxwoods Resorts and Casino 301. And I'm not even going to unscrew this one. It's going to take too long. So there is last year's winner. But this is the Eric Almirola car. I actually think this is probably his coolest race win just because it was the most legit race win. I mean, don't get me wrong. Talladega, I know they count as the same as regular wins, but let's be real. We all know Talladega is more of a crapshoot than anything else. So the fact that he went out and just straight up beat everybody at New Hampshire was pretty cool. So yeah, this car, uh, the Foxwoods Casino 301, definitely a pretty neat, pretty neat one. Um, comes with the pin. I think this one's on the website, but it doesn't have the pin with it. But for Black Friday, it is going to have the pin on it. So if there's any cards that go out this weekend, I'm just going to tell you straight up, if I can find the pin and I have it readily available, the pin's going with. So this is one of them. But yeah, I, I don't know. This one's pretty cool. I've always really liked this one, but I do. Don't get me wrong. I have an extra for me, but the um, I do have one for the website too. So 
There you go, Gene. Gene Haas. <laughs> All right. What do you got going on here? Is that a piece of tape? It is a piece of tape. Let me slide that pin back down so it doesn't fall out. There we go. Pin has been put back in the box. And there we go. All righty. Well, guys, do you think it's time that we did our third Black Friday deal of the day? We've already seen Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch. Let's see here. Oh, hi, Brian. Welcome in. Uh, let's see. Wanted Bell to win that one so bad? I hear you, man. I get you. The good news is he did still get into the play. He was still already in the playoffs there. And he got revenge this year. So that's got to help. All right. Yep. Hey, have a good one, Parker. Come on back when you can. Now, the next thing we're going to do with everyone in the chat, let's see who our next driver for the Black Friday deal should be. So put your vote in the chat below. Who should our next Black Friday deal go to? Which was our next Black Friday driver? Let's... Driver. Yeah, no, that's driver. That's right. I got it right. All right, I got a Kevin Harvick vote. That doesn't count. Second vote, same person. Doesn't count. <laughs> so we got Harvick. We got Larson. Kane. I don't have any Kane. Sorry, I can't help you there. <laughs> All my Kanes are sticking around. All right, so we got Harvick. Oh, let's see. I'm going too fast here. All right, so we got Harvick, Larson, Keselowski, Joey, Matty D. Is that the second Larson? We got a second Larson. Kyle Busch, we already did. Got a Keselowski, but that's the second vote for the same person. We got an Elliott, KB, Larson, Larson... Kislowski, yeah. All right, so it's going to be Larson. Looks like we got enough votes. It's going to be Kyle Larson getting all the votes that is needed for that one. Now, with Kyle Larson, the unfortunate part is um, most of them are too new. <laughs> so the good news is I do have some Kyle Larsons that will work. Uh, the bad news is that, unfortunately, because they are all new, it's it's not like I have a, you know, a Larson first win or something sitting around like that, something, you know, kind of really cool. Um so unfortunately, that one is not going to be on the uh, on the table. But the good news is there are going to be a couple of really nice ones. Uh, the first of which is going to be um, the Kyle Larson. La Sorry, I'm reading it wrong. Oh, there it is. I hit. I re I read it right. Okay, want to make sure I had it listed in there correctly. So the first of which is going to be Kyle Larson's 2021 Valvoline Elite. That car is going to be in a, it's a standard Elite, so it's not a raced version, but that car went from a normal price of 104, because that was right after the price increase, which nobody asked for, but it is almost, it is over half off, 49 for that Elite. So the standard Las Vegas Elite, or not, sorry, not Las Vegas, the standard Valvoline Elite is down to 49.99 or it's 50 bucks you know right on that mark um so that one is actually right on that number let's see what there was one more that was on that list where did it go i always like to do two one of the elite because some people like elite some like arc and then where's the arc i gotta read a little closer because i'm blind why am i blind Am I really this bad at reading? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I, I knew it was in there. Uh, and the other one is the Las Vegas win elite. Uh, sorry, not elite. Don't quote that. The Las Vegas win ARC from earlier in the season where he got his first career win with Hendrick Motorsports. And so that car was originally 64. And now that one actually comes down to 54. Well, it's 55. Was it six? Yeah, it was 64. So actually, that one goes down even lower. That's actually, uh, let's see, that's 52. Yeah. So yes, for uh, for Larson, we've put two new ones in there. They just got put live. It's going to be the Larson Las Vegas ARC and Larson Valvoline Elite. Both of them are in, and they are live now. So go ahead. Those are sitting over there. And good news, first person, wait, hold on. Uh, do I have any Vegas pins? I do. I do have Vegas pins. So first person that ends up going up and getting one gets the Vegas pin. Elite for 52. Well, it's they're shipping too. Uh, what's going on right now? Uh, the Larsons have just been added to the Black Friday list for tonight. The Vegas one is down to 52.99. The Elite 
for the Valvoline car in standard finish is down to 49. So big discount on the Valvoline one. Oh yeah, as far as what's going on in the chat, don't even worry about it. That one's good luck. Good luck keeping up with that. All right, so now we've gotten past that step. Now the next thing we have to do is take a look. Oh my gosh, I have so many things around me. We're going to take a look at our next um, 118th scale sprint car. So in the chat, let me know what 118th scale sprint car you guys would like to see next. And if anyone has a preference, I got Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, uh, Casey Kane. We already did Brad Sweet and CJ Leary, so we did those two. Um, we've got Justin Peck, Logan Schuhart, you know, ton of them. Uh, let's see, Jacob Allen. So there's a plenty of them. Am I ever going to get an F1 118th? Uh, at some point. I'll get one at some point. Donnie Shots. I do have a Donnie. Do I have a Donnie? Yeah, yeah. The one Donnie's in its box already. I had to box that one back up. So we got Donnie Shots and Casey Kane on the list so far. Remember, 118 sprint cars, those go to uh, tomorrow night. Uh, there is no Jimmy. We already did Brad Sweet, uh, Unifirst. We, we looked at his uh, a little bit ago. All right, we're going to do Casey, Donnie, and... Why did I forget the third one? Seabell. Casey, Donnie, and Seabell. Introducing the all new 2022 driver of the Advanced Auto Parts. Uh, I can't even say it right. This is the Tony Stewart Racing number 15 of Donnie Shots. So there is our 118 scale. Gotta go grab two more. Seabell, there he is. Okay, now we got them all. Let's set that one right there. That's Seabells right there. Okay, so we got Donnie Shots. This is his 2022 Advanced Auto Parts car. Sadly, it's not the same one he ran at the Nationals. I really wanted to get that car, but they didn't make it. Uh, they did make uh, the paint scheme equivalent, I guess is what you could call it, um, for the midget car that ran at the Chili Bowl. So they at least made that one, but unfortunately, I really wish they would have had the... Um, the one eight, the one eighteenth of the Knoxville car would have been really, really cool, but unfortunately, it just simply wasn't meant to be on that uh, that one. So that is the. Oh, what do I got going on here? Hmm. I need to do something on that. Where's my poker? Perfect. Uh, I need more like a pin. Do I have a pin? Let's try that. That's a work. There you go. I had to put the knife back. Uh, so we got two of them for Donnie Shots. The first of which is that 118 scale sprint car. We're actually going to turn it this way. There we go. And then we're going to put the midget in here because this is a really good looking car. Actually, this one also, by the way, comes with the wheel covers. So we do have all black wheel covers on that one. Uh, that's the midget that ran. Both of these are 118th scale. So technically, these are Tony Stewart racing, not Stuart Haas. Tony Stewart sprint car team. So not affiliated with Gene Haas. He can put whatever driver he wants in there without having to fight Gene. Get it, Gene. But uh, yes, so we do have those. Um, I, I really wish they had made the... The Car Quest car. It was white. It actually looked very similar to this. It was white, red, and blue, just like this. And it ran at Knoxville and won, but unfortunately, they only made the advanced auto parts. So fingers crossed they do make that one because that would be really cool. But um, I think I'm uh, barking up the wrong tree if I ever going to get that. All right, let's see here. 10-time champ. That's right. 300-time winner, or over 300-time winner, that is. So that's the Donnie Shots cars. Uh, both of these are from the 2022 season. One's earlier, but yeah, we got. Um, I I personally think the uh, the 118 scale sprint car might be one of the better ones of this year. I think the yellow really looks nice. But yeah, we do have both of those. So there's one of each of these on the website. These can't be discounted. These are too new for discounts for Black Friday. So. Unfortunately, all I can do is show them off, but I will show it off real quick because I haven't done it yet. Look at the foil number. Look at that chrome-ish, like, blue. 
The blue and red, it's like like chrome. It's not like the best way to put it. It's not total chrome, but it's shiny. It shimmers. Like look at that. Look at how that shimmers in the light. So very cool on both of these Donnie Shots cars. Uh, now the shiny and shimmery stuff is only on the midget. It's not on the, the 118 scale sprint car. That's strictly on the midget where it has that shine, but it still looks really, really good. All right, so let me go ahead and move this one out of the way so we can get on to two other guys. Uh, Cup Racing Driver and my favorite, Casey Kane. This is his 2020, or sorry, 2021 Caravan Trailers car. He actually drove this filling in for James McFadden. So you can see Kane across the front wing. You can see it is kind of just an all blue and gray looking car. You got Caravan down the side, number nine. But I, I think this year's car was better, but I actually don't have any of those on the website. Nobody pre-ordered it, so I didn't get it. But we do have this car here, so it does the Caravan Trailers number nine. Looks pretty darn solid. We also do have, I'll scooch it in here, Christopher Bell's Plan B sales car. So you can see that number 39 Plan B sales for the Swindell Speed Labs team. And um, I don't know. Between the two, I still think Casey Kane Racing always has had better schemes. Um, they've just always done a good job. You know what? I'm going to turn them the other way. I think they look better from the right side because that's how I always see them. Maybe that's why I think that way. But there you can see them from the right side. I think that looks better. So, yeah, from the right side, I don't know. The Kane one's blue. I think it looks better personally. But that is all opinion. So, you know, I'm not going to apologize for my opinion. I can be biased. I've met Donnie twice, and hopefully we'll get to see him next year. Well, the good news is there is a very nice spot on the top of one of these wings for a Donnie Schatz autograph. It's perfect. All right. So that's our 118s. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put those back. Like I said, good news is the Donnies can't be on Black Friday. Casey Kane and Christopher Bell, oh, you bet. Those are on Black Friday. There's autographed Christopher Bell. No autograph on the Casey Kanes, but there is um, a little dust on that one. But uh, there is going to be a discount on both of these uh, starting tomorrow night at midnight. So if you're interested in one of them, you can go check them out. Um, what's wrong with Brian? He's a mod or something? Uh, what? I don't know what I don't know what you're referring to. Brian, it doesn't show him as a as a mod. It just shows him saying hi. Or shows him as a bot. He's not a bot. <laughs> Brian, if you're not a bot, type this exact message into your chat. Hi, my name is Brian Lucas. I am not a bot, and I really like the Casey Kane sprint car that is blue. You have to type it in. Have to. You have to type it in. <laughs> he says he's not a robot that's exactly what a robot would say <laughs> hey i'm still waiting brian's got to type that message he's got to type in that he likes the blue casey kane sprint car he has to say it it's it's the only way the only way now it's just fun to mess with people uh what are my thoughts on the car that kimmy ran at the Glen? i actually like it i think it's pretty good Ah, uh, that's close enough. What's taking so long? What do you mean what's taking so long? What's supposed to take so long? I, I might be missing something. Am I delaying? I'm just lollygagging, I guess. Oh, the bot? <laughs> nah, honestly, if it's a bot and it ain't doing anything, I don't care. Um, but like I said, he wasn't able to answer the questions, so maybe... Maybe we need to be tolerant of our bots, because someday they will be our overlords. <laughs> uh yeah that's something a bot would say no really i'm a human i bleed red that's also something a bot would say I went back to the sprint car shelf to put one of them back and then just decided, screw it. We're going to look at all the sprint cars. Nothing you can do about it. Bot lives matter. You bet. What am I doing here? What am I looking? Okay, that's that. All right, let me slide. We're going to slide Christopher Bell out of the way. He's going back on the shelf along with Casey Kane, and we're going to replace them both with a couple of NASCAR's most popular driver. This is Chase Elliott's A-Shock late, uh, not late model, A-Shock sprint car. And we also have his Chili Bowl midget from last year, the A-Shock Chili Bowl car. So I will say 
between these two cars, uh, the midget, I would probably say, is perfect. I love the midget. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Only thing I really wish they would have put his name across the front right here. Oh, it would have looked so good. Um, so missed opportunity there, unfortunately. But the car itself looks absolutely fantastic. And yes, he did flip this thing. He flipped it like two stories high. Absolutely destroyed the car. But it was still kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so it's got number nine, A-Shock. And then you can just see, oh, it looks awesome. I love that car. It looks so good. Acme did a great job with this car. The new midget molds look really good. This car, I'm not going to lie, this sprint car is beautiful. The blackout on there is stellar. It is literally blacked out. There is only a couple of pieces on this car that are not black. Engine detail, uh, there's a wing mount that's silver. And I think one of the spindles on the back side has brakes that are silver. But that blackout sprint car is gorgeous i absolutely love it so yeah as much as that 21 car it doesn't match the number nine and all that i think it is one of the best looking sprint cars i have seen in die cast form all right let me run these two back quickly All right. Say they're the most goaded. Can't can't say they're the most goaded. Can't be the most goaded team. Not when Michael Waltrip Racing is still a thing. Oh, they're not? Still not. <laughs> All righty. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to slide this one out of the way real quick just so you guys can see. Here's the Larson uh, midget from last year. I also have a few of these on the website. Like I said, these are too new, so these won't be discounted, but this is the Flow Racing one. You can see right there above the front bar where it says Larson across the front. That was where I wish they could have put Chase Elliott's name. So you can see there's that Larson across the front right on the top of the roll cage. Um, this one is just unfortunately just a bar. So I really wish they could have put that that little kind of body panel up there. I think it would have looked really cool. Um, still, don't get me wrong, not a bad one. Uh, but this is definitely a really, really good... Um, top of the top of the cage here having that um that larson name in there i love that body panel i really wish really wish the other car had that too i think it looks really good unsubbing because it's a bandwagon heck yeah i'm a bandwagon man follow it so much of a bandwagon fan i'm probably carrying the wagon <laughs> All righty. So, yeah, that's all the all we have for the Chase Elliott uh, sprint cars. Like I said, lots of sprint cars are going to be on the site. Um, still got plenty of them on hand, but uh, definitely need, wanting to see if we can trim those down and get some sprint cars going. Because, like I said, if you haven't been out to a sprint car race, if, um, if Chase Elliott was an actual sprint car driver weekly, you would be able to get every car you want signed easily. It wouldn't take hardly any effort. But due to the fact that he's a NASCAR driver, it's a little different. Where if you want to get Brad Sweet's autograph, you go to the race, stay after. They open the pits up, walk on back there. He'll sign it, get a picture. Super, super nice. Oh, are you complaining that you have to make a guest appearance? What a grump. He doesn't like it when he gets his belly touched. He's biting me now. Yeah, you're being a grumper. You're being a little grumpus. You're being a grumpus. He has made his appearance. All right, you want to get down? Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, quit it. You're just fine. He's a little vocal. And yet, he'll just lay down now. So he has made his guest appearance. He uh, he wasn't scheduled, and he came in, worked extra hard on the channel. What a, what a trooper. Coming in and making a guest appearance. He's not even getting paid for it either. I mean, that is a trooper, you know? What a what a trooper. Um, oh, yes. Um, let's see. I believe I saw someone asking for Harvick next. Um, so I can grab a Harvick car. But while we're doing that, put your chats below who should be the next of our Black Friday deals to get put live here on the Wednesday night. We have already done Larson. We've done Hamlin. And we've done Kyle Busch. Uh, by the way, nobody has touched any of the Larsons, so they are still there. 
Um, and the free pin goes to the first one to get the Las Vegas ARC. So the free pin goes to that one. Um, but let's see what our next uh, preferred car for the discount. I see Harvick. I see Elliott. I see another Harvick. So we got two Harvicks. I don't have any Casey Canes. Uh, I do have a Kurt Busch. I do have a Kurt Busch. So there is one of those. So we got two votes for Elliott, two votes for Harvick, one vote for Bush. Let me go put these uh, midgets back, and then we'll see. We already did Kyle Busch. Let me put the Kane or the Larson and Elliott midget back. Oh, they look so good. Dirt cars are fun. All right, we've got three Elliots to two. Now four Elliots to two Harvicks. We're continuing to keep an eye and monitor the situation. And it looks like our winner is going to be driver, the number nine, Chase Elliott. So Chase Elliott will have the next one. Don't worry. Harvick's going to get on there. There's too many people voting for him for him not to get on there by the end of this. All right. <clears throat> wow. I can't even express how incredibly like dry my throat is. Maybe my voice is just wore out. That might be what it is. Okay. So for those of you that are wondering, there are two different Chase Elliott cars that are going to be on there. Um, the first, which is going to be the ARC. Now for the ARC, the first car that's going to be listed is going to be the... Um, the race win from Chase Elliott in 2020 that took place at the Roval. So Chase Elliott Roval, which I will say is probably one of my favorite raced versions in ARC. I think it looked really, really good. So raced version Roval in ARC is discounted to $44.99 starting now. So those are live. And the next one was the Elite. And the Elite for that one was the 2020, let's see here, I've got to make sure I have the right one. Okay, it is that one. That's what I was thinking. I couldn't be, I couldn't be sure if I had the right one, but I did. So that's the good news. Uh, yes, so the second one that was on that list for the elites, I had to scroll through and make sure I had the right one, because at first I think I had the wrong one. We showed it was Talladega 2022, but that that is not right. It is not the Talladega win. I can promise you that one. Because that is not even out yet, unfortunately. We're still waiting. Uh, we, we will see that one, I'm almost certain. But we are going to have to wait, sadly, for a little bit. Um, where did it go? No, not that one. No. Did I read it wrong? Oh, no, it is there. Yep, it is. I was thinking that was it. It was the Martinsville win. So yes, the elite version that will be discounted is the Martinsville win. And the Martinsville win, going from $88, basically, because it was $87.99 originally, to $73. So that one goes down about $15 um, for Black Friday, because it is a playoff win. That always helps. But yes, those are going to be on there. So those are live starting right now. Two Chase Elliott wins. Martinsville, sorry, Yes, Martinsville and Elite, Charlotte and ARC. And guess what? Good news. The Martinsville and Charlotte will also be live probably tomorrow, or yes, tomorrow night at midnight. So don't get me wrong. Those will be there. So uh, the early bird gets the worms, though. There are only two of each of those left. So I know you can think, well, I can just get it later this weekend. Once they're gone, they're gone. I don't get any more in. So you got to jump on them quick if you really want them. But like I said, the Larson, nobody jumped on them so far. So maybe you'll get lucky and you can wait. But I'm just letting you know, I don't have high inventory. So this isn't something where they can sell 15 to 20 of them. I only have two. So once the two are gone, they're gone. All right. I've met Casey Kane, Shots, Brad Sweet, McFadden, Larson, although NASCAR and David Gravel. I mean, I met all of them in one line. And then at the Nationals, you can just stand in a, there's an autograph thing. You just walk through, get a card and... I was trying to get my um, my Brad Sweet. What did I have? It was a hat or a wing. What did I bring? Yeah, I did. I brought a Brad Sweet. No, it was a card. I brought the Brad Sweet card, um, and got 
got it signed from Brad Sweet and, and stuff at that. So, again, can't express how awesome it is when you get to go to those um, those World of Outlaw events. It's absolutely fantastic. So, definitely something that... Um, <laughs> Did the mad funny? Uh, you say uh, you missed you missed it there, uh, a shock. That that one's not supposed to be on. That's not the Black Friday one. <laughs> um, so yeah, that one's on there. That one you don't get the pin. I'm just letting you know that right up front. I couldn't get any of those pins. Um, but anyway, uh, so I guess although he didn't get it from the um <laughs> the Black Friday list, congratulations to a shock. He is the new owner of this car to my right. I'm going to bring it in front of you right now. This is Kyle Larson's uh, Fontana win. So this car has just been purchased by A-Shock. So A-Shock's new car is going to be the next one reviewed. And that's two in a row for him. The Chase Briscoe win that was reviewed today got shipped to him yesterday. And now he's got a Kyle Larson Fontana getting shipped. So he has two reviews in a row. Um, you don't have the third one, though. The third one is going to be... And I'm going to show it off real quick. Closer. There it is. The next one is going to be Noah Gragson's Phoenix win. Ugh, flat tires again. I love it, but ugh. Um, so yeah, this one. Don't you spam other channels here. No, I'm just kidding. Diecast Buffet's got good stuff. He um, he does mostly 164, though, from what I remember. I've seen a few of his different things. The only thing I thought was kind of funny was when he did a video with his sunglasses on. I thought that was a little weird because he was indoors. Um, so that was kind of funny to me. But... Yes, I have seen his stuff. Anybody who's enthusiastic about diecast, you gotta love it. Gotta love it. But this one, this will be um, tomorrow's review. We're gonna have two tomorrow: uh, Larson's Fontana and Gregson's Phoenix. So both of these go live tomorrow um, on the channel, and then we're gonna have actually a Sunday special coming out Sunday, and then um, we just have a bunch of other cars, a lot of sprint cars going on this weekend. Like, I want to show you the stack. All those sprint cars for this weekend. A lot of reviews on sprint cars coming. Um, so yeah, that's definitely going to be um, definitely going to be a long weekend, but plenty of reviews for sure. All right. Well, the good news is, if you do want the pin, I do have the uh, pin for the Bowman. So I do have a couple of those on hand. So I got a couple. Uh, what was the other one? Briscoe? I do have the Briscoe pin too. So that's the Ruoff mortgage. I do have extras of this one. I just, the only one I couldn't get extras were that uh, was the Auto Club. But yes, so um, goaded reviewer. Well, I appreciate that. I definitely don't think I'm quite to that stage. I am I am proud of it though. I will say, I, I'm not going to do the whole thing where it's, I'm just too humble. I'm no good. Like, no. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of how, how uh, it's take a lot of work to chug away at this channel for, I mean, I've been averaging about three uploads a, a day for about two, a month or so now. And so um, I'm pretty proud of that. I'm happy with it. But um, yeah, as I said, I've watched Diecast uh, Buffet. I've also seen uh, Bushwhacker reviews. He's been doing it actually longer than I have. I've seen a lot of his. Um, uh, J Jason A. Strain, Jason A. Strain or something like that is the name. Uh, I've seen that channel a few times. I believe he's from Fort Dodge. I think he's actually pretty close to me. So I'm going to try and collaborate with him at some point because I'm really, really interested to get to know other diecast enthusiasts in the area because he's literally like an hour from me. So I kind of want to see. I think that's where he's from, but I have to double check because that, that would be really cool. Um. So, yeah. But anyway, um. Yes, uh, Little Wrangler. Actually, yes, I do know him. I actually know him personally. I fixed a few of his cars. Um, you guys have seen me review or replace and fix those Dale Earnhardt cars and Dale Earnhardt Jr. cars when I do some chassis uh, replacements and repairs. Um, those were his cars, so I actually know him personally. Uh, when I say personally, Facebook, like I've never actually met him in face-to-face. In -face. He's from South uh, South or North Dakota, so he's out in the Dakotas there somewhere. Um, but yeah, I've I've gotten uh, gotten to at least meet him through some messages and stuff for sure. Actually, he's, to be completely honest, he's the one I got that Denny Hamlin Daytona 500 win that you saw earlier in the video and my Joey Logano Daytona 500 car. I've got both of those cars from him uh, a while back. So kind of cool that uh, that's actually where they came from originally. All righty. So um, now that we got through our, our most recent version, or not version, but our most recent set of the updates for the website, in terms of Black Friday deals. Now we can move on to our next C, uh, show and tell, I guess is what we'll call it. And for the next show and tell, 
we're going to go ahead and show... Is it time? I think it's time. Can I get the five box race set? Um, oh, that's this. He's talking about this right here. There, now you can see it. It's too, it's too tall. You can't see it through the camera otherwise. There we go. That's the five set. And here's a funny thing. I actually reorganized them. The way they came in the box, they come in um, M&M's Minis, or sorry, m and Sundays, Skittles, Twix, Nashville, Atlanta. And the actual order they're supposed to be in is this order right here because it went uh, first win of the year was Coda. Second win of the year was um, Texas. Third win of the year was Nashville. This was the 100th Xfinity win. Then it was Road America. Then it was Atlanta. So that was the correct order. Like this box set right here is the, oops, sorry. This box set is the correct order that they came in. Um, but the original order was actually wrong. So I reorganized it specifically to make it correct. Uh, but you guys remember, I did the review. So when I did the review, obviously, I also had to open the box. So by the time I put it back, I did it right. You know, you got to do it the right way. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I do have uh, that Kyle Busch set's going on the on the website. But I do actually have somebody in. Or, no, sorry. The Kyle Busch set is actually potentially on hold. I have somebody he's looking to do the Kyle Busch race win set from Xfinity in 164 and 124. So he's looking to get all five Kyle Busch Xfinity wins in both scales. So uh, he wanted me to take pictures. I haven't got a chance to do that yet, but as soon as I get the pictures taken, um, I'll find out for sure if he's uh, going to, to go for that or not. But kind of a cool thing. I like that idea, getting the two five, five car sets, you know. All right, 2016 Baja Blast. The hardest die cast is 2019 Kurt Busch Monster Energy Elite. Uh, I have his... 2019 Kentucky win, but not the not the plane car. When is Chastain's Coda and Byron Atlanta coming? Well, the good news is Chastain Coda is on the way. It is on the way. Uh, should be here probably. I'll honestly say it'll be two weeks because with Black Friday, everything's gonna slow down and get booked up and have trouble. And so it'll probably be a couple weeks before we see that one. Uh, so there are a few coming though. So there are a couple on the way. But um, that's definitely the um, the ones that are are on the the way. Um, what other one was on the way? Bowman. I think the Bowman was on the way as well. So Bowman Vegas was on the way, and the Chastain Coda, I believe, were the two that are coming. All right. So now I do need to go and grab one more car quick. I'm gonna go grab the Homestead car that has been uh, asked for a couple of times. So we'll go grab that one. And we'll also grab the Baja Blast Liquid Color Elite. So we'll go get both of those real quick. I'm going to get a big, big sip of water real quick here. Woo! Oh, man. Uh, I... I'm not, I'll send photos to, I don't even know if you're the one that wanted the photo. It's, it's a guy through Instagram. So if that's you through Instagram, just, you gotta be patient. Wait till after the stream. I, I don't have time to get them all out of the box yet. Uh, I also don't have the space. My table's a mess. I'm going to go grab the Chase Elliott Homestead and Chase Elliott uh, Liquid Color Baja Blast. We'll be right back. Um, but before I go, enjoy this look at my newest Chase Elliott arrival, the Chase Elliott A-Shock. Uh, if I put my diecast on there, I will never forgive you. Wait, which one? On where? You're confusing me. <laughs> you gotta explain which one. Either way, I'll get the chats when I come back.
Okay. Took me a little bit. Like I said, I had to go up multiple flights of stairs for this one. So it's worth it. It is worth it. But it took me multiple flights. So I'm out of breath. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not that bad. All right, let's see here. Let's see. Merry off season and happy Christmas. Well, welcome in, NASCAR dude. Thanks for wishing everybody happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. And Skull Vikings. You can send that one to the Iceberg. I know he's a Vikings fan too, so gotta gotta appreciate uh, the fellow Vikings fans that have been tortured because uh, it has not been an easy one. Even when we think we're good, we have one great game against Buffalo and then just, oh, painful, man. Painful. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, pull this one out. This one I cannot wait to get up with the rest of the other uh, Elliott cars in the collection, but... The next car we're going to show is probably one of the most beautiful special finishes ever created or ever made. Liquid color Baja Blast from 2018. You would be very lucky to find this car in this day and age. This car probably goes for over $500 if I'm being completely honest. I've had offers for it and I, I seriously consider those offers. But one day I went to Gateway. Chase Elliott had an appearance. He signed the car. And now it ain't going nowhere. Uh, no, not this one. The Broken Shark Fin is on the first win, Liquid Color. This one's the Baja Blast, so this one's all good. It's just the other one. When do the Black Friday deals begin on the site? So we have done a couple of them tonight already. Uh, we actually do them in real time. We just kind of throw them out there. It's kind of just a fun thing to do. But the majority of them will start tomorrow night at midnight. Thanksgiving midnight has nothing to do with like Black Friday timing or anything like that. It literally is just... For me, it's convenient because after Thanksgiving, I stay up late anyway. So when midnight comes around, I'll just log into my site, make them all visible, and poof, they're all going to be live. So tomorrow night at midnight is the main one. But if you stay tuned into the stream here, we've already put a Larson, a Elliott, a Hamlin, and a Kyle Busch. So we've already done at least four deals, and I believe three of them, two or three of them, have already been uh, picked up. But the good news is they're still all available. Kyle Busch's uh, Texas win is still, there's still one left. Uh, there's also still a Larson Las Vegas, still a Hamlin Talladega, and still a Elliott Martinsville. So there are still plenty of them available for everybody. So not exactly midnight at 12.01. It's going to be all around midnight. <laughs> Best way to put it. So stay tuned for about 10 minutes because I it's remember, I have to manually turn on each listing. So it may take a minute, you know. Um, yeah, for, for you guys, it would be 1 a.m. Uh, for the East Coast, it's 1 a.m. And um, who knows? I might be live during this whole thing while I do it just for fun. That way I can uh, I can shout out everybody as they get their their Black Friday deals. But anyway, so this is the um, the Liquid Color Baja Blast. I got it signed at Gateway, so now it ain't going anywhere. Once you get a car signed by your favorite driver, guess what? It's yours. I can't imagine selling a car I got signed by my favorite driver. So that's the Baja car. Um, it's going to go back in its case. For those of you who didn't see the review, I did a review of a lighted case I got off of Amazon. Big neon, or not neon, big LED light case with mirrors and everything. That case is where I keep this car, and it is absolutely stunning. So definitely loving that. Um, let's see here. Chat, or, uh, Kyle Bush in the chat says, Elliot is getting better at signing cars. He changed his signature, though. Uh, it went from C-H-E-O to now it's just C-E-O. Well, here's the thing. The easiest ones are like this are when he does appearances because when he does appearances you can walk up and set the car on the table he get he takes his sharpie takes his nice like he takes his time you know in the pits or at a track he has to do pretty quick so he still does that at the track where it ends up kind of shuffled into a corner but that being said if you do catch him at an appearance he takes his time he's very good about making sure each fan that comes in kind of feels appreciated like they're not just getting rushed through the line um, you know, you get your picture, you get your car signed, and then, you know, you do, you do keep moving. You don't just get to sit there and chat forever, but you do get a chance to say a few things and that kind of stuff. So it's very, um, it's very laid back, which is pretty nice. So, but yeah, as I said, the signature turned out absolutely gorgeous. All right. Next one on the list, we were going to take a look at the grail of all grails for us Chase Elliott fans. 
the dual autographed Homestead raced version. Um, all dirtied up here on the front end. You can see we got Chase Elliott on there. We got Greg Ives on the back. Uh, happy retirement to Greg Ives. Napa logos across the front, nationwide up there. Uh, we got the mirror hanging off the side right there. I've always thought that was cool. You see that mirror hanging off the side like that? I always thought that was pretty cool the way they had that sitting there. Uh, you can see how that front suspension goes. Um, there we go. Okay. Sorry, I was in the chats. And then we're going to roll it to the right side, and then you guys can see all the rest. I'm not going to go too much further. So here's the right side. This is obviously the best part everyone's talking about uh, and loves to see. So that's the good side. Now, I'll get back into the chats real quickly. Uh, we'll start here with Clyde. Says so what I was talking about i said don't want you putting my black my uh, my car going on black friday list just a joke i'll put it on there i can do that mm -hmm. sorry clyde i'm dyslexic and i read that wrong now it's going to get put live <laughs> now nah, you're good man i got it set aside uh, all right uh one five box race win set um i gotta see like i said if the other guy backs out i will have one available but if he ends up taking it i won't have one left so, um, like I said, he messaged first, so the guy on Instagram will get the first crack at it, because I did promise him I would send him a picture and give him a shot, and so he'll get that first shot, but if he does back out and decide not to, I will put it live. All right, let's see here. Um, let's see here. That's why he's the most popular driver. I mean, that's Dale Jr. was, was very good, too, that way. Always really good on with the fans. Um, Kyle Busch is also anti-gaming. Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of name changes there. <laughs> Um, have you ever had that moment when you see a driver you hate, but get an autograph? Oh, for sure. I've gotten Joey to sign a couple things. Um, but the thing is, I don't hate Joey Logano, the person, so it doesn't bother me. Um, I don't hate the people. Like I don't hate Kevin Harvick, the person or Joey Logano, the, the person or any of that. I just, I don't care for their driving style. Like that's something always, I just, I don't like Joey Logano's driving style. I don't really, at this point, I don't care for Ross Chastain's driving style. I think he's, um, I think he's got a lot of the early Kyle Busch type stuff where it's like he tries too hard and then just runs someone over and for some reason just expects it to be like a whoops, my bad. It's like, well, no, you've trashed the race car. Like, that's not just a whoops, my bad. You you got to do better. Um, so, again, it drives me nuts, but I don't like I, I don't have any problems with Ross the person or Joey the person. I think they're all good people. It's just a matter of, you know, sometimes they're on track driving style. I'm not a fan of. All right. Welcome in. Oh my gosh, that name is long. Productions, happy Thanksgiving. So wow, you really, that's an extended name right there. But welcome in. Hope you're having a good one, man. Um, let's see. What in the world is going on here? My throw, my throw. I don't know what you guys are saying. Okay, here we go. Penske drivers. I see them at Penske Twitter. Um, what about Briscoe? Uh, I like Briscoe. I think Briscoe's pretty good. I can't read that one. Why is it saying? Okay, there we go. I would just stay stock Stuart Haas, to be honest. Um, the cool thing is, I, I think the only guy I've had trouble getting autographs from is Kevin Harvick. Like, when I say trouble, I mean, like, even if you have a car and a marker and you wait your turn in line, he still will cause problems. He's the only guy I've had issues with where I don't push and shove. I don't chase people down. I'm usually very patient and just kind of, I'll wait my turn. And if the turn doesn't come, I'll just put it back in my bag and go home kind of thing. Like, it doesn't bother me that much. And Kevin's the only one I've actually had like legit struggles with because, um, and I don't really understand why, because like I said, I don't push and shove. I just kind of stand there and, um, but there was, I mean, his PR guy even tried to help, help me out and, and still nothing. So I don't know. I don't know if it was, maybe I had the wrong shirt on that day or something, but he's, it's only happened a couple times, but like I said, it's, I, I think it might've just been my shirt. Maybe, I don't know. It's weird. I got one car signed super easy. The other one was all really difficult. So, um, Elliot, Chastain, Cindric, and Harvick are my favorite drivers. What a wacky combination. Harvick and Chastain have both had issues with Elliot. How does that work? <laughs> How does it work when your two favorites are fighting? It's like your children fighting, right? I uh, haven't had any issues with Harvick. I mean, it depends on how many times you get to see him and where. If you see him in an appearance, most drivers are great at appearances. Um, I think it's when you catch him in the garage area and stuff like that is when you start to maybe run across more trouble. But like I said, it's just drivers have their own thing. I, I've always, I've never faulted drivers that are, you know, have other things to do. They got a job to do, so. 
Hamlin was amazing when you met him at the at the gift shop. Well, heck, it's not very often they go there. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, guys, my voice is actually getting extremely wore out here. So here's the good news. We are going to go ahead and do not one, but two final discounted drivers to end our Black Friday preview sale stream, whatever you want to call this. And um, ugh, like I said, my voice is getting really sore. So let's go ahead and get the two drivers that you guys want to see. You know what? Actually, just put all the drivers you want. I'll, I'll pick if I want to do one, two, three, four, or five. I might do a bunch. So I know we're going to do Harvick. Definitely seen some Harvicks. We've already done a Hamlin. So I'm only going to do one per driver. So Kyle Busch's ones are going to be done. Um, Denny Hamlin's are going to be done. Chase Elliott's are going to be done. Like Those are going to be done. Like I said, there's more tomorrow. So be sure to, to log in. Midnight's when they go live. Midnight East. Sorry. Midnight Central. 1 a.m. Eastern. Um, so we got Harvick. Chastain, there aren't any Dale Juniors. We got Blaney. Okay, so I can do a Blaney, I can do a Harvick, and I can do a Chastain. No, I don't think I have any Chastains. Harvick and Blaney. Harvick, Blaney, Logano. I think I saw Keselowski earlier. Yep, there's Keselowski. All right, so I'm going to read them off as I go through and make them live. How about that? Because, like I said, my voice is getting really wore out. So I'm going to have to make sure I take it easier. I'm not going to have much of a voice left. All right, guys. The first of the cars that will be on this list going to be the Brad Keselowski 2020 Bristol Win Elite. It's a very, very good-looking car. And I think it's probably one of the better-looking cars of for the race wins that we've had thus far. Now, there's only one available. So if you're a Brad Keselowski fan, one Brad, Ke Brad Keselowski Bristol Win Elite, it is live now. So one left. It could get sold tonight, tomorrow. It's live now. And as soon as it's gone, it's gone. I can't fix it after that. So I'm just letting you know it's live. And once it's gone, I can't fix it. So I guess happy hunting. All right. So that's Brad. Next, we had Harvick, right? We wanted to look at the Kevin Harvick. Oh, man, my voice is really, really mad at me. <laughs> the Kevin Harvick ones we're going to be taking a look at. The famous, or maybe not so famous, but one of the cooler looking paint schemes, that's for sure. Um, but the, fi the, the car that I think everybody went nuts for for a little bit, and then unfortunately they made too many of. But the, br uh, the I can't even say it right, the Kevin Harvick, 2021 Gravedigger car in ARC has been discounted to $49.99 for the ARC. That's on the Gravedigger ARC, uh, the lower tier or the plastic chassis ARC. So I want to make sure I'm clear about that because I definitely don't want to don't want to get the wrong memo sent. You know, I want to make sure I'm very clear about it. Um, so yes, that's the Gravedigger ARC for the Gravedigger Elite. Those started at 99. They started all the way up at 99. That one is down to 84. So the Gravedigger has both been discounted. Both the ARC and the Elite for Kevin Harvick have been discounted. Like I said, more are coming, uh, coming tomorrow. But for Kevin Harvick, those are the two that are discounted. Um, and the other one was Ryan Blaney. Uh, his is going to be, I believe it was Atlanta. Got to double check. Yes, the Atlanta raced version. The Atlanta raced version in ARC went from 63 or 62.99, I think is what it was. So they went from 62 and 63, uh, and that one went down to 52. So that one was about 12. Uh, not quite as high, but there also isn't quite as many of them. And then the other one for Ryan Blaney was the Elite of that Atlanta version, and that one went from... Uh, oh, hold on. I got the wrong one. I thought I had it, but I didn't. Do I have the Atlanta Elite? I thought I did. Maybe I just goofed. Oh, uh, yep, we did. We did. We'd have, we did have that one. I was right. So, yeah, the Atlanta Elite for that one went from 92 down to 77. So, definitely had some... That's about 15 is what it was supposed to be. So... Um, like I said, there's been Ryan Blaney, Keselowski, and Harvick. Um, was there anyone else while I was at it? Bowman's Vegas win, and they have the first four wins of the season. Did you get the clash already? Or are you just doing points raises? 
getting the New Hampshire win elite fire. Well, like I said, let me know when I'll, and I'll, uh, well, actually it's over through Venmo, but I'm, I'm going to have you put it through online when you're ready for it, because it let, it's better for me tracking the inventory and like keeping track of my numbers. So I'll still have you put it through the site, but I know you like to use Venmo. So don't you worry. All right. Let's see here. Did I miss anyone? Keselowski, Cody Ware. Don't have Cody Ware. Don't have Gordon. Don't have Kenseth on the site. So we're missing there. Uh, oh, Lugano. Do I have any Luganos? I don't think I do yet. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think we're short on Lugano yet. Yeah, the Luganos will have to go tomorrow because I don't have that one there. Say my name. Brian Lucas. I have been... Or Bri Brian? I don't know if it's Brian or Brian, but I've, I've seen your chats, um, but it's confusing. You said there are things that need happen. I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know what those things are. <laughs> um, Bowman Vegas is ugly. Yes, it is. Sadly, they messed up the white. It got like discolored. And I will say they, they definitely did mess up, but don't worry guys. You'll get to see it first. Cause I will be doing that. Um, I will be doing the review on it as soon as it comes in and then it will go to, to uh, a shock. <laughs> Almarola, Almarola, there's not enough. Almarola will go tomorrow because there's simply not enough of them to do tonight. <laughs> so as soon as there's more of them, like I said, there's just a little bit. All righty, guys. Well, I got Brian and Brian. I'm not sure which one it is, though. All right, guys. Well, like I said, my voice is absolutely, like, failing on me. I'm one step from just absolutely, like, squawking out because my voice is so shot. Um, so the good news is I'm going to get some water, and then I got a full day tomorrow to rest up and watch some good football and all that fun stuff. And um, am I able to get my name? I, like you said, message me through Facebook or Instagram. I, I don't. That's what I'll have you do. Um, but have a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving there, uh, Eric. I hope you didn't just hop in because we're just wrapping up. But you can go back and watch. There are some live discounts on the site as we speak. So if you are interested, you can check them out. Uh, we've got Elliot Harvick and some of those other guys. So thanks for stopping in, guys. I hope you guys had some fun while we were at it. And uh, be sure to tune into that website tomorrow at midnight uh, central, 1 a.m. Eastern, for the Black Friday sale to start. It'll go all the way through the weekend. And starting Monday, all the prices go back to normal. So... Go ahead and get those discounts while you can, and um, have a happy Thanksgiving. Have a great day tomorrow, everybody, and we'll see you in the next DieCast Review.